<laughs> I'm gonna be on a well, welcome back from our one week hiatus. I know it was a hmm? an interesting time. <laughs> um, so oh, I figured we would start with a little recap of our adventure, uh, and then maybe pick up a little bit on where we are now in the present timeline, because uh, some time has passed since we uh, our characters were last together. So, a uh, quick recap. Um, all of you uh, kind of met in the city of Phandalin, uh, coming from several different places. Um, essentially, forced there as refugees or would-be heroes to end the calamity of an invading dragon that you found out was named Cryovane. Um, and in your um, adventures in trying to like find out where Cryovane was, discover how best to take care of him, um, you also did quite a bit. You um, made yourselves heroes in the city of Phandalin. Um, that was probably the biggest city affected by this dragon plight. Um, you met several different friends. Uh, Falcon, maybe not so much friend to Seduceus, who uh, lives off in the woods and helps hunt orcs. Um, you also made friends with some orcs, an orc tribe in uh, one of the um, Icepire Peak uh, area. And you uh, also met a, a centaur named Xanth, all of whom aided you in getting information or items useful to destroying the dragon, uh, which you found at the top of Icepire Peak in a long forgotten fortress uh, that the dragon had layered in. Um, after you destroyed this dragon, uh, y'all mighty heroes returned to the uh, town of Phandalin um, to let the, the town master Harbin know that you had such defeat of the dragon. Uh, you were very well uh, rewarded. You sold off several of its goods uh, and again became, you know, a, a very important group in this city. Uh, it has now, to kind of pick up where we are, been about seven months uh, that you've been resting, recuperating, enjoying your time uh, in the city of Phandalin, uh, kind of gathering your resources, doing a few things, uh, and uh, otherwise just kind of relaxing given the very harrowing adventure that took you about a month or so um, to find an end through. Um, so that being said, would anyone like to share a little bit of what their characters were doing for the last six to seven months in this town? I just I just want to point out, I really like the the, uh, the picture you have here of, um, like I said, me killing the dragon and then Cre and then Seduceus watching right there next to me. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Short, short little <laughs> It's very, what? It's, very what picture? it's a very accurate picture. Where is this picture? Uh, it's on the map. On the map. On the map. Oh, the map. Shoot, hold on. The map. Oh, Jeremy's map. actually the character with wings in this. <laughs> <laughs> what, the dragon? <laughs> oh my god. That's actually Trent. Torin. Blue eyes, white dragon, dude. That could have been me, dude. Yeah. Oh, wow. What a cool picture. Um, yeah, well, Seduceus for the past six to seven months, just so you know. <laughs> nothing's really changed with Seduceus. Uh, he's been oh. enjoying his time in Phandalin, uh, basking in the glory of this fame. Um, he spends most of his days at, um, you know, the local bars and brothels, you know, playing music uh, late throughout the night, um, just serenading the town of Phandalin whenever he can, uh, becoming quite popular with uh, the residents there. Um, he uh, has many, had many adventures with uh, many different ladies during the six or seven months. Too many to recount, oh. um, actually, too many. Um, so <laughs> he looks a little bit more, uh, you know, weathered and worn for certain reasons, but still has, still has that same, uh, kind of smile and aura around him. <laughs> Not just that's what Seducius has been up to. Bought in several new pairs of pants. <laughs> They've gotten progressively tighter and tighter. <laughs> uh, anybody else care to share their stories of what their character has done over the last six to seven months in Phandalin? I'll give you a quick update here. Uh, knowing that uh, I can come across as kind of scary a little bit, um, I think we were hanging out in this town for a while. I decided to uh, 
practiced my social skills and um, interacted with the townsfolk, tried to get them to not be so scared of me and tried to figure out how I could, uh, you know, just be a little nicer to them. So I spent a little time uh, mingling with the with the common people. Nice. All right. Uh, Flux? Um, Flux turned into yeah. a little bit of a recluse. She kind of built her own uh, house kind of on the outskirts of Pandolin. Um, but she just needed a, a really long, long rest after everything that we went through. Okay. Is Flux staying Yeah, same thing for Henry. Did you guys get a house together? What did you say? Did you guys get a house together? We did. We actually did get a house together, but we are both two of the same who required a lot of energy restore. Uh, so we took some time apart from all the chaos and all the socialization um, to get our energy back so we can be prepared to move further along in this journey. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. And then Torin? I um, actually went to go um fulfill some bounties outside in the in the closest city which i don't know the name of but i went there and um secured a couple bounties i actually came back way richer um you guys don't know that but i uh have some more money in my pockets and some very valuable things i found um i've been seeking seeking something very personal to me for a long time and found some more clues but still have not found what I'm here for, so I'm I headed back to the Fandolin um, to see if I can extend my journey even further. Nice. Uh, hey, Trent, do me a favor. Roll a just a roll a d20. All right. Is that a check? No, it's actual roll. Uh, yeah, you, you got some extra cash. Uh, you ended up with an extra 150 gold pieces. How did you do that? Yeah, no one else worked <laughs> yeah. into the oh, yeah, I'm a bounty hunter. I fulfilled some bounties. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Seducius spent it on brothels, as expected. Uh, and you just were nice to people, which is hard for you, I understand. And then the ladies just built shit, so they don't have any extra money. <laughs> We're living off the spoils of our riches. That's right. <laughs> and being really <laughs> frugal <laughs> and um, healing, having spa day yeah. all the time. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> yep. Um, so you do manage to make a little bit of a name for yourself. It hasn't been too long, just a few months, almost a year uh, in, in the city of Phandalin. Um And uh, Flux, you know, it's, it's about midday um, in the middle of the week here and um, as you're kind of inside inside your home preparing your meal for lunch, uh, you and uh, Zendri are just kind of chilling, relaxing. At the door, you hear. A... Who is it? Hello. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking for Flux. Uh, this is she. May I ask who this is? Uh, yes, I have a um a letter from the Temple of Bahamut in Neverwinter. Oh, oh, um, oh, okay, you can just slide it under the door. I was told I needed to make sure that you were the only one that received it. Um, yeah, okay, hold on one second. Hey, Zendry, can you come back up? Bring a weapon just in case, okay? I'm going to open the story. Bring meow meow. All right, bring the meow meow. <laughs> I got my meow meow. Uh, okay, well, okay, I'm going to open the door, and I just peek open the door. Uh, so Hi. you peek open the door and in front of you is a young gentleman, um, human male, doesn't look like he's older than 20. Um, he does have the livery um, and the symbol of Bahamut kind of stamped in the center. Little like um, fuzzy hat kind of pushed off to one side and he sees you there and he kind of sees you open the door and he doesn't look, he just looks perplexed. It's like this is a very strange way to greet a messenger if you didn't expect that you would think that he was like this villain. Uh, but he's just waiting there and he's like, um, yes. Um, Flux, are you Flux? Yep, yep, that's me. I can take the letter now. Thank you. Uh, okay, he just uh, like hands it through the door and you like quickly close it on him. Yep. And he's like, oh, okay, um, 
Shall I send a response? Nope. I'm good. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, uh, okay. Uh, I'll just... I'll, I needed to... I'm just going to go wait at the end if you need anything. Okay. Yeah, alright. Cool, cool. The end? Yeah, sure, sure. Let, let, let me read this and then, uh, yeah, just hang out there, okay? Uh, so you open it up. Uh, you don't recognize the hand, but you recognize the signature at the very end. Um, and it's from a Fennec Mornloss, who is the one of the high priests of the Temple of Bahamut in Neverwinter. In fact, he's the particular priest that sent you on this mission to aid Fandolin in ending the scourge of this um, chromatic dragon. Uh, so uh, on this letter, you see that it says, Flux, um, we're very, uh, we're, we're, we're happy with what you've done in Fandolin. Thank you for, for being able to bring safety to that town and, and uh, representing our god very well. Uh, we have troubling news, though. Um, the Lord Protector of Neverwinter, Lord Neverember, has sent a contingent of Lathander worshippers to a nearby city of Lelon. He wants to make sure that the city is um, recreated and rebuilt, but somehow the Lathander group has been able to scurry their way inside. Uh, and so he's allowed them to build the first temple there. We'd like to make sure that Bahamut isn't forgotten in all areas of this uh, We want you to go there and make sure that the hold of Lathander isn't too great. And then it's signed. This one's super delayed right now. Yeah, it's pretty echoey and delayed. Did you get that at all? I'll write it. Yeah. It's probably the fuzzy must, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Did he take off the headphones? If he takes off the headphones, it's no, I don't know. the problem. I did. I've been working this whole time. I'm going to need some audio again. <laughs> Nate, just say I everything you said, but again. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Uh, here's, <laughs> the <gist. laughs> here's the gist. Leave the head, leave the leave the earmuffs on forever. Slash, <laughs> or I'm blocking you gold. Uh, <laughs> we all just need to like. Uh, when is when yeah. is your birthday? <laughs> yeah, can we just help Jeremy get some beats? Uh, can we start a GoFundMe for Jeremy? <laughs> I think we need to. Um, so uh, the gist is um, the, the high priest Fennec Mornloss, who is the high, one of the high priests of the Temple of Bahamut from Neverwinter, um, basically lets you know that the Lord Protector has sanctioned the rebuilding of a kind of ruined city not too far away from where you are. Uh, and on that city's council is one of the high priests to a different god, Lathander, who is who is benevolent as well. Um, but the high priest Fennec is concerned that Lathander might outshine Bahamut worship in this new area and would like you to just maybe go to town, see what you can do to represent Bahamut uh, as well and try to establish a bit of a, a foothold uh, and maybe even create a temple in that space. Got it. All right. Um... I've read this out loud, um, and Zendri also hears this. Um, and so, Zendri, what what do you think? I think I think we need to get the guys, and I think we need to go uh, check this out. Yeah, <laughs> I think we should identify them first. Um, maybe see what sparks in their thoughts, and go for it. All right. All right, so why don't we gather our things and see if we can round up the guys and we'll meet at the inn. I hate that place. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> the what? Oh, to do <laughs> can we get as far as we want in the inn? Seducius. Seducius is going to be in the brothel, so you guys are going to have to come find me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure we really want to do that. I'm pretty sure you do. Uh, Joke on you, well, Fandolin doesn't actually have a brothel. So wherever you've been going, going is own. very problematic. I made, I made my own brothel. <laughs> Hence why I said that Zendry was bossing Seducius around in the last six months on the side, telling him to stop his ways. <laughs> He's actually been in the ball in work. Time, but he thinks it's a brothel. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so much imagery. 
Uh, you you found me playing, playing my guitar to Vincent the Ox or something. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Immediately. Just throwing coins. Damn, Vincent, damn. <laughs> uh, Alright, so Seduceus, you are at the end? <laughs> yes, I'm at the end. Um, and, uh, just so oh I know, god. for Sless and Torin, are you there as well or are you somewhere else? You'd have to say where else if you don't want to. Oh. Yeah, I'm at the end. Okay. Uh, I'm not there yet. Okay. Um, so, uh, Zendri, Flux, you walk into the inn, and there is Seduceus kind of leaning up against the countertop, strangely enough, like strumming his lute. Uh, everyone is paying attention, but Seduceus seems to pretend as if no one sees him. Hey. Not surprised. Hey, dumbass. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Seducius, hello. Oh, it's gonna be like, oh, got it. You're interrupting you're, 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 so long. You're you're interrupting my performance. The the crowd is captivated right now. Yeah. Can okay. You tell? That's what you want to call it? Cool. <laughs> we okay, have. Okay. Okay. We have something important okay. to tell all of you guys. We're getting the band back together. We got a mission. Oh. Oh, that's great. Okay, uh, we're taking a quick intermission, everyone. Go ahead and grab your drinks. Uh, tip, tip, tip your bartender. I'll be back shortly. All right, what are we doing here? You hear like oh two God. sets of applause from like a corner. It's just like... I was really hoping. Yeah, I was really hoping you were going to say people sort of looking around, going, "Is this guy talking to us?" <laughs> <laughs> Most of it. There were there were a couple though. They seemed to be young women that were enamored. Yeah, young women. <laughs> Still got it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what what is what is so urgent that you have to interrupt my my concert series here? Flux? Just hold your horses, dude. We need to get Sless is sitting over there. We need to wait for Torin to show up. I don't want to have to repeat myself. So I just want you to know that we need to talk. Uh, we're waiting on Torin, so. When you're done, or when Torin gets in here, you gotta meet us over at this table, okay? We're gonna be drinking. So, when Torin gets here, we'll chat. You need me. Okay. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'd like your support in this, if you're able to, unless your concert is too busy. Uh, no, no. I'm, I'm interrupting your tour needed. schedule. No, I've already made a couple, you know, tours around the town uh, in yeah, a couple different ways. So I'm a little, mm -hmm. I'm a little, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready for something different right now. Yeah, I guess Vincent gets a little boring after a while, huh? Uh, uh, no, so Vincent's it's, great. It's Seduceus, you just feel like a weird, like, push on your back as you, like, shimmy off. Uh, and you look back and, like, no one's looking at you, but you just see Helga, like, continue to walk on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, oh, um, hey, I'll go. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, what haven't I done to Helga? But let's just get okay. out of here. Exactly. I'm not feeling oh, about to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm done with this place. Uh, Celeste, you join us? <laughs> yeah, I'm with you guys. I'm going. Where's Torin? Uh, that big ugly lug, I haven't seen him in a while. I don't know where he went. I think he was going on a little bit of a, a life journey, trying to figure out his background a little bit. A life journey? Don't dragons live forever? He's always on a journey. Well, I think he was you know, maybe he can find his family or something. Maybe he's wondering if we killed his family just six months ago. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. That would, that would be awkward. Yeah, I, got little, I got a little confused after the last mission. He messed me up on the inside. Yeah. Uncle Cryo! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh Torin, you can enter the inn or do whatever you like. It's up to you where your character would be, so. Um, I'm not in the inn yet. I have a, I'm not, no. I'm not going to enter the inn. I'm right. very close to the end, though. Hmm. So we're waiting here for Torin. No, I think we have. Yeah. Maybe he'll. What we're maybe doing? We'll cross paths with him on the way. Yeah, we'll be waiting here forever. Let's let's go do something. 
Yeah. So do you guys want to fill us in on what's going on? Yeah. Let me just tell you. And then I, I'm going to fill you guys in on everything. Do I have to repeat it or can we just... We'll just let them know that they know what we know. Yeah, you can just say that if you want. It's good to you. However much or however little cool. you want to share with them. Cool. So um, my priest um, from my my temple is asking that we actually, me, but I want to include you guys on this because, you know, we're family for now. We need to go to another city um, and we need to check out this other guy. I forget his name, but it's right here in this paper. Um, he's trying to build a temple and like we can't let my religion get uh, stompled on or trampeded so we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go check this out hmm will there be women in this <laughs> city <laughs> sure I'm sure you'll find one you'll find something and I know you're not just into women, so just relax. We'll find something for you to take home and poke on. Calm down. <laughs> Some uh, well, I, I'm ready to go. I, I've been uh, spending so much time in the town. I, I'm ready for something. So if you're saying there might be something to do for us to head out and go on a little bit of a adventure, I'm, I'm ready to go. Awesome. Uh, a new a new city to spread my seed. Let's let's go. Let's let's go figure this out. Uh, so in the letter, um, Fennec Mornloss, your high priest, um, did give you a name um, and a little bit of direction as well. Uh, I'm just gonna put it up on the screen so you can see it a smidgen. Let me get it loaded here. Burp, 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 burp. Presenting, presenting. And let's turn that off. All right. So if you look, um, where you guys are currently is that, that very familiar town of Fandolin. Uh, Leilun is a very old city. Um, and a lot of you know about it because it's in this area. But uh, it, it recently has been actually inhabited. Um you know, it's been basically uninhabitable and destroyed for the better part of 200 years. Um, and so these events where people have been trying to settle there again are, are relatively recent within the last couple of months. Um, so Leilun is, is if you look all the way near the kind of southwest area, uh, you'll see where that city is. Um, and there are a couple different ways to get there. Um, but the safest and, and based on that, probably the most expeditious is if you take um the tribor trail kind of a little that little dotted line north of fandolin and then connect to the high road to run down to the city mm -hmm. hmm. i'm very interested in the mirror of dead men that sounds very metal <laughs> uh roll a um picture check for me mm. hold on it's been so long i forgot how to roll anything <laughs> uh exclamation point check <laughs> And then uh, history, or you can do it on your character sheet. Yeah, I like how you say that because even the weeks we played consecutively, you still didn't remember how to do it. That's fair. <laughs> okay, okay. You should just like uh, plug in your face uh, and just like slap it, and it does something for you. <laughs> That'd be pretty yeah, I know nothing. Look at that. I rolled a yeah, two. Like a target, roll. you're, you've never. You're like I don't know. I can read it. I don't know. Yeah. Anything Jesus. About it. Uh, nor do you know anything about the nearby city of Leilon. <laughs> what do I know anything about? <laughs> Not women, women, apparently, and that's even kind of... Women. Amazing. That's <laughs> questionable. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's a lot about Vincent, though, apparently. <laughs> a lot about Vincent. It's troubling how much about Vincent he does know. Mm. My boy. Number one fan. <laughs> so, um, you guys can... You know, if you... you there's... There's probably not a great way you'll make it there in a day. Um, you imagine if you take the main road, you'll probably find an inn or something nearby you can stay at. Um, but it'll probably take you a day and a half 
to make that trek if you follow the road. If you do decide to cut across, which you can do, it just might be a little bit more concerning because there are certainly creatures in these parts. You know that. Um, you might be able to get there um, is that five, ten, five, probably like before midnight, but it would be pretty late in the evening. So are we debating whether we want to go straight there or, or stop and then make it like a two-day trip? I mean, I say we just go straight through. Can we get there, what, at midnight? Yeah, you yeah. would get there. You would okay. definitely go past the midnight. Um, you wouldn't know this because your history yeah. sucks. So it's kind of, that's that's the only thing <laughs> you get right now. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh my god if we, if we take the high road though if we go through uh like the dotted line that we see on the map and then down to the high road back down how long you said that would take two days uh it would so that's about 5 10 15 20 yeah it would take you about a day it'd, it'd take you about eight hours to get to the junction which would mean you would need to kind of rest around that part um and then maybe um if you left early you'd get there in another like six hours so you'd get there at about you know, 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock, somewhere in there. Hmm. But that way, that route is safer, correct? Yeah, yeah. And you would, again, know this because of your adventures. Like, there are definitely big creatures here. Bandits are not uncommon. Um, you know, that's a good, that's still a good, like, 20 to 30 miles you'd have to traverse of um, kind of, you know, free territory, let's call it. Uh, we killed a dragon, so like, what else is there, right? It's up to you, not my decision. <laughs> what do you guys think? Lux, it's your thing, you pick. Uh, I honestly think we should take the safer route. Huh? Let's go for it. Let's trust, trust our intuition. Um, so you all start leaving town, um, kind of walking through. Uh, Torin still unsure where he's at at this point. Um, do you guys want to look around town, try to find him? Do you want to look outside a little bit? Does Torin show up? It's kind of up to y'all how that happens. I mean, I, I definitely think we need him on this journey. Uh, it just doesn't feel right going on another like big mission without him. So uh, what do you guys think? Do you think we should split up and take a look around the city? Should we do it as a group? Does anyone remember, like, when was the last time you saw Torn? I feel like it's been at least a couple of weeks, but he's not hes not in the town. But he did say he was heading west towards the water, so maybe, maybe we'll run into him. Yeah, the last time I saw Torn was at the inn, at the night of the party, the cryovane, hmm. I think. Six months ago? I can't remember. <laughs> I think he was there. I think, I think he's in the room. Jesus has been oh, drinking for a long time. No help. Uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, so you guys yeah. do end up leaving town since you can't find Torin within it. Um, you uh, um, start, to start seeing the familiar road as it leads out. You pass by Barthens. Um, you do see Vincent out front. Strangely enough, you swear, like, as Seducius walks by, Vincent just kind of, like, wickers a little bit. Just, rah. Uh, Seducius doesn't seem to want to make eye contact with the ox. No one knows why. Uh, <laughs> and you kind of continue to walk through. Uh, you get out. You do connect with the Tribor Trail um, pretty quickly as you get there. Uh, and you start heading westward uh, into that direction. Uh, and as you walk by, the sun's still pretty high in the air. It's only been maybe... In a couple hours or so, three hours at most, as you kind of made this journey and trek, um, you connect to it, you start walking across, um, you start thinking about some of the things that you've kind of seen on this adventure. Um, right at the crossroads, um, you ran into a um, kind of a bandit group that stole your money because Seducius wasn't paying attention, neither was Torin. Kind of laugh at the ability to get your money back and end the bandits. Um, and as you make that junction, you start heading southward um, because you've, you've run into the much larger road now, uh, which is the, the high road trail. Um, it's getting a little bit later in the day at this point. Um, you're probably now getting on to like the late afternoon. Uh, 
as you kind of make your way southward onto this connecting road to try to get to um, the directions you've been getting to get to, to Leilong. Um, and it's kind of getting later and later, and now it, the sun is starting to set. It's probably closer into like the seven o'clock, um, eight o'clock night. Um, and as you look by, you can even see like the outline, um, uh, the silhouette of the Tower of Storms that you um, not too long ago had to clear out of um, Anchorites to Talos and other undead creatures. Um, you kind of get a little bit of a shiver as the sun does slowly start to set. Um, and now you're kind of looking around and you're noticing, okay, we probably should find a place to rest. Um, it's, it's pretty late in the day now. It's been a full day's travel. You're a little bit tired. Um, and it's if you travel any further, not only will you be pretty exhausted for the next day, um, but it might get to be a little bit less safe. Um, and so off in the distance, you do see uh, a building. Uh, you do see a building um, that seems like it's uh, an inn off on the uh, eastern side of the uh, eastern side of the road. Uh, but it's still a little dark and kind of far out, maybe a quarter mile away from you uh, at this point. All right, you guys. Well, I'm getting pretty tired. I don't know about you guys. You feel like resting? I think it's time for us to set up set up shop for the night. Do that. Maybe um, let's get some rest. Somebody we we can we can take uh, take shifts and uh, keep an eye out for Torin too. Maybe we'll maybe we'll run into him. Yeah, I I see the building over there. It looks like it's it looks like an inn. Do you guys want to keep going and hit there? I feel like it's probably a safer bet than making camp out here. <clears throat> yes, yes. Sadducees would love a nice, comfy bed in an inn. All right, uh -huh. let's head that way. So you continue your pathway south and, and kind of head toward this building that you see. Uh, and off in the distance, you see an oddly shaped building that kind of sits um, a little bit off the side of this road here. Um, now that you're getting closer, you can kind of see there are two entrances into this building. Um, there's a smaller one kind of on the northern corner, the side facing you. And then a larger one that looks like it's made for like beasts of burden and wagons to fit through. Um, not far away, but a little bit more to the um, eastern side of the building. Um, looks like it might lead into some stables or a little courtyard of some type. Um, more concerning though, as you get closer, you're like, I see things in front of this building and they seem to be these humanoid figures um, and they're apparently attacking this building. They seem to be beating the sides of the walls. Some are shambling about outside. Um, they've already kind of broken through one of the smaller doors that you see that looks like it might have been the main entrance. And there are cracks now starting to form, and you can see light from inside of this building seeping out through these cracks. Um, it is definitely somehow under attack by these creatures. Uh, you said they're humanoid looking? They seem to be, yes. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's see. Um, yo, I say we try and talk to these little creatures and figure out what they're doing to our, uh, place of rest. Yeah. Let's go figure out what's going on over there. <laughs> um, so you walk up a little bit closer, and now you see these things. Um, they don't seem to notice, or, or so much as care about <clears throat> you at this point. They are all facing away from you. Um, but they seem to be walking corpses um, and flux zendry given your characters you would definitely know these things these are zombies that are trying to break into this building um, none of them seem at this point to have taken notice of you um, but they are um, around and um, they are around kind of surrounding this building and there are many of them there are like at least four, maybe five of them. Hmm. Uh, well, I, I would say probably Seducius and I ask, uh, you know, Flux and Zendry, like, hey, do you guys know what these are? Because we don't. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Those are definitely zombies, you guys. Totally the undead. Cool. First dragons, now zombies. This is uh, 
Great, great adventure here, Flux. <laughs> I thought you said they're gonna be women, not zombies. I don't want zombie women. Listen, beggars can't be choosers. You know this. Yeah, you can pick and choose what you get. <laughs> you, you're down for for bestiality, but not for zombies. Oh, okay. Uh, strangely, yeah, I as never you mentioned the term bestiality. One of the zombies just kind of like <laughs> and like turns around, and looks at you, and now they oh, they notice you, and this one goes. <laughs> And just starts charging at one of you. And I need everyone to roll initiative for me, please. Yay! Oh, here we go. Let's go. Uh, Torin, do me a favor, roll a d20. I got 20 on my initiative. Nice. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I did mine from the website. Naturals over here, dog. I got my twenties. Plus a twenty-two. <laughs> say twenty-two. I was just joking. Come on. Could have got twenty-two. It's a possibility. You're not even here. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I rolled a twenty, dude. Out of nowhere, dude. I'm in the ether. <laughs> yeah, what is going on here? What is happening? Just wait, dude. I'm coming in hot. Are you a zombie? Are you a zombie dragon now? Because that shouldn't be cool if you're a zombie dragon. <laughs> you're about to find out, dude. You're just like chicken one. It looks like that cat in Jeremy's screen, dude. It's like... <laughs> no hair, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get all of our guys loaded up. Good. Uh, all right, Flux got a. I got twenty. Nice. And Sedusius got a twelve. Not bad, respectable. Sless got a number somewhere. There it is, sixteen. And, uh, Torin, go ahead and give me an initiative roll as well. Is the top floor on the right, bottom floor on the left? Or? Uh, bottom floor is on the left, top floor is on the right. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to, I need to check. Yeah, check initiative for me. No, it's still wrong, right? There we go. Okay, at least I wasn't the only one who did that. Let it be noted. It wasn't just me. That would. You can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> that did roll initiative instead of check. <laughs> I did do that. I was got... rolling d20s before, dude. I got mixed up. <laughs> oh, um, uh, so, uh, you guys are charging in towards these things, and one of them sees you. Uh, they are all kind of scattered in a few different areas. I'm just going to kind of put them where we see them. He's inside as he's cracked through. These guys are here. Awesome. Okay. Um, so you guys are a little bit further off um, the map at this point, but you can kind of see where these zombies are kind of situated. Um, but looks like first up is going to be our friend Flux. Oh, all right. I'm going to cast Thunderous Smite and then <laughs> attack. I'm going to attack That's the one closest to me, which is... Oh, I'm kind of far up there. Um, I'm going to move up to Z5. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can, can get there up? for sure. Let's do it. I can't move my guy. No, I can move him for you if you can't. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for being funny. All right. That so sounds so epic. You get to Z5. What? Okay. Your spell sounds so epic. <laughs> Thunderous, Thunderous. Right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Go Hell crash. yeah. So, go crash. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to attack this bull with my 
trusty long sword. So all right, Let's hit. Get- Boy, I got 20. Uh, natural 20? Or Team Longsword. Natural 20, baby. Okay, nice. Go ahead and roll your damage. And don't forget your um, uh, your Thunder Smite damage as well. Dick. Okay. Oh. I got <laughs> Yo. uh, sword damage is 10. And then my freaking. Uh, so you, you got a natural 20 there, right? Mm-hmm. So you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna roll that one d eight twice, and then oh, gotcha. three. Gotcha. Hold on. So that was ten again. So I got it ten twice. Nice. Uh, and then hold on. You can't you can't have gotten a ten twice. How did you get ten twice? Wait. Right, because I rolled it again, so I got my natural twenty for my hit points, and then I did the one d eight plus three, which made ten. Uh, okay, so you rolled, so you you don't add that plus three twice, just once. You 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 roll the dice got twice it. and then add the three. Uh, if you're on D and D Beyond, if you actually just right click on that thing, you can hit critical hit, and it'll roll it for you automatically. I, I clicked on it, and it rolled ten. Oh, okay, so you got ten. Nice. Okay. I don't know if I did that wrong. Yeah, so I did that, and then. My spell, let's see, that adds another seven. Nice. So six plus one. Nice. 17 points. All right, so this job just, yeah. uh, he stumbles a little bit as you kind of knock him off. His arm just like sloughs off. He's still standing, but he's not doing very well. Okay. Um, anything else? That was your bonus action and your... Um, uh, and your um, action and movement. So that's pretty much done for you. Um, we're going to go to one of these other creatures. Um, and so as you kind of start attacking one of these things, from the distance, the rest of your group sees this black shadowy figure kind of seem to swarm ahead and get into kind of your space near that front door. And it looks like a black ghost made of smoke. And it kind of wails towards you. Uh, but that'll end his movement because that was all of his action to there. Uh, that brings us to Sless. Um, Sless, you're within 60 feet. You're just not on the map in case you do want to use a spell. Oh, we lost Sless. That's all right. I'll go for him. Uh, let's What's see. That? What does Sless want to do? No, I'm here. Oh, has you? Oh, your camera just dropped. Never mind. My bad. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh, there we go. My bad. Don't be good. It, like, Discord I can crashed. barely hear you. Yeah, yeah you, you sound, sound really far away. away. Okay. I think the earmuffs are on your mouth. Let <laughs> me. Is that any better? Yes, much yes. better. Okay. Much. Sorry, I was trying to fix the echo thing, so I must have turned down my microphone, like output volume. Um, okay, well, that little like smoke monster thing has got me uh, a little worried. So just because I feel like sometimes we mess around and we don't attack it properly, I was thinking <laughs> about using um, True Strike, <clears throat> okay. which allows me to point a finger at a target in range sure. and uh, see what their defenses are. Okay. Uh, let me just look up that spell real quick. Double check where <laughs> it is. <laughs> I just can't get over my little character's face. <laughs> I did that on purpose for you, Sless. Uh, Seducius, uh, True Strike. I don't think True Strike is <laughs> quite that. It gives you advantage. <laughs> Your next turn, you gain advantage. So on your next turn, you'll get advantage on your first attack roll against this thing. Oh, so I won't be able to like say, "Hey guys, this is how you attack this thing." Yeah, correct. That's not what that does. Got it. Okay. Well, then uh, I'm gonna adjust a little bit. Then um, I'm gonna move. Can I move like in between? Z- well, here, let me see if I can move my guy. Uh, I'm gonna move like here. Okay. 
And I am going to use... Um, I'm going to use Burning Hands. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to... It's a cone shape. I'm going to do it to where I get Z5 and see if I can get Z2 in there. Yeah, you can probably get that. Also, w- without without getting Flux. Oh, uh, yeah. I think you can work that out. Um, let me just double check real quick. We want Burning Hands... Uh, yeah, you can get both of them. In this okay. Turn. Yeah. Um, so what's the um, DC on that again uh, for you? 14. 14. Uh, first one fails. 13. What was it? What was the save? Dex? Uh, 14. Uh, but was it a dex save or? Um... Oh, it's a dex. Yeah, it says dex 14. Let me just check something on the zombie here real quick. Uh, oh yeah, he don't, they, both, they both fail. Um, so go ahead and roll damage. They're both going to take full. Perfect. So 3d6. Eight. Uh, do you want eight me to do it twice? Damage. Or is it just the once? Uh, nope, just the once is fine. So eight points of damage to both of them? Yeah. What level did you cast that at? Just the first level. Gotcha. Okay. So that first zombie that was already kind of taken down by uh, Flux just disintegrates to ash. Um, the next one is still standing. Um, pretty tough. You did a good chunk to him, but not enough to stagger him. Anything else on your turn? Nope. I am good. All right. Uh, so that'll bring us to Seducius. Your turn, sir. Yo. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so Deuces notices a shadowy figure, also notices it just kind of standing there idly, so Seduces so is going to move over to where the zombies are, because he feels that's more of an immediate threat. Uh, which ones do you want um, to I'm going to move him, so you said it says Z5, I'm going to go right where Z5 just got disintegrated. Okay. Um, and... Unsure of really how strong these zombies are, instead of casting a spell, I'm going to use my um, crossbow that I acquired at the end of the last mission uh, and aim that towards Z2. Yeah, go ahead and roll to hit for me. Cool, I clicked it in my computer for us. Hold on. (laughs) (laughs) Like, literally, I just see this... I see this... I see the shadow of a dice on my screen. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, I rolled. I rolled a six. Uh, six actually misses. Dang! So you rolled well, a six. Did you get anything additional to that six? Any bonus? Mm-mm. Well. No. All right. Unless I'm reading it wrong. Just... Uh, I could double check. I just want to make certain. Uh, so you clicked on where it says plus five, and you only got six. Oh, nope. Sorry. Okay. I'm a dumb dumb. I was like, you rolled yeah, a one, and yeah. it sucks, but <laughs> it's possible. Yeah. Oh my god, website. <laughs> Seriously, it's okay. Hold on. I just had to refresh it. <laughs> There we go. There we go, little dice. Uh, okay, I got an 11. Nice, that hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. <laughs> okay, okay, Jesus. Uh, okay, let's go. And <laughs> three. <laughs> okay, three points of damage. This dude's doing just fine. <laughs> oh, my God. He's, he's, he's weakened. The, you get the sense the burning the rest of it, but it's whatever. Uh, any, anything else on your turn, Seduceus? Any uh, bonus actions or anything? <laughs> Um, no, not, not yet. No, no, okay. no, I'm done. Right. That'll bring us then to Zendry. It is your turn. Um, I would like to run up on W2. Okay. And use my inflict wounds. Uh, sure. Um, go ahead and roll to hit for that. And what level are you casting it at? Um, let's do first level. Try them out. 
Uh, all right, go ahead and roll your damage, or uh, roll to hit, and let's see if you hit him. 23. 23, that definitely hits. So go ahead and roll your damage now. 18. Uh, what type of damage does inflict wounds do? Necrotic? Um, wait, where do I see that? Uh, if you look next to the, um, like if you click on the spell, it'll say um, like 10D whatever of this type of damage if you read through it. Pretty sure it's necrotic. Yes, it is necrotic. Um, so you grasp it and as you grasp through it, you do feel like you've landed on like kind of through the smoke and into something that feels a little bit more corporeal. And you cast it and you feel the magic go through you. But the creature just kind of looks at you and it has a bit of a mouth and you swear it just kind of laughs. And nothing seems to happen. Roll a... Um, hmm. Roll a religion. Nah, roll a arcana check. Five. Five? Um, you're not yes. sure. You just know whatever you did did nothing to it. Tight. Nice. Uh, anything else on your turn, though? Yeah, can I queue up my meow meow? Yeah, you've got a bonus action. We'll put them on the field for us. Um, so the uh, bonus action meow meow onto the field. Let me get a little icon here. Hold on one second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, meow meow needs like intro music. Yeah. <laughs> he does, you're right. <laughs> In six months, did we get a really good icon for the Meow Meow? Uh, no. I know, right? <laughs> it's still the same one I've always had. <laughs> There's your Meow Meow. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we'll put Meow Meow next to you. Uh, all right. Meow Meow's up and ready. Uh, that brings us um, to this noise that you guys hear coming from the western side, kind of near the coastline. And you just hear, <laughs> as Torrin charges into the field. Uh, Torin, what would you like to do, sir? Oh my god. Yeah! Uh, I feel like Torin needs to make that noise. I feel like <laughs> yeah, but fire was shooting. Like, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Come here. W2, you're coming. I'm coming hot for you. Uh, alright, I'm gonna <laughs> legit <laughs> go shit on, shit on some. Some zombies here. Uh, you gonna shit on them? <laughs> and remember, you're coming in from the, the western it. side of the building. Oh, oh, wait, oh, let me see west. Damn. Okay, I will go towards uh, W two. Okay. Like that kind of. Can I yep. come? Can yep. I come that way? Is that okay? Yeah. Do you want to get like right up in his business? But... Yeah, let me get right up in his business. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna hit him with the dragon sword, I think. Let me see. I'm gonna just straight shit on his face, dude. Just... <laughs> yeah! Now you're talking Seduceus's language. <laughs> <laughs> Long sword, strike again. Oh. Hey -oh. Hey -oh. Alright, so no. roll to hit with your our... um, your sword. <laughs> That's our turn. Really just screen. run through everything like, hey <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. All right, I got a freaking nine, dude. That's trash. Uh, nine misses. Okay. So everyone was like, oh, some cool shit's gonna happen, and then nothing does. You just kind of <laughs> nothing you like go through its incorporeal form. Uh, anything else on your turn, though, Torn? Um. No, I'll just leave it at that. I, I think my favorite part about him rolling an item missing was like right as he said that, the music did that like whistle thing. I know. <laughs> uh, that's going to stay out. Uh, okay, so the zombie on the inside of the building is going to keep trying to break through the building. And y'all can kind of hear like um, scrambling from inside and like the occasional like, oh no, oh, it's coming in. It, they're coming through. Uh, that's that one. Uh, Z2 is going to go for Seduceus. And try and take a couple hits at him. Uh, so he is just going to try to slam you with his fists. And okay. he will miss. Uh, Z3 is going to do the same. He's just going to run up, get to flux. 
slam on Flux. Uh, that will hit, I believe. Flux, you take four points of damage. Okay. Um, you got smacked. Uh, yeah. The next zombie yeah, I, is going to charge up and get to Torin, and he will take a slam at Torin as well. She took one for the team, unlike you. Yeah. <laughs> and that will mix. That brings us back to the top of the round. It is now Flux's turn. I'm gonna oh, freaking, for the team. I'm gonna stab this fool. This is V3. Okay. Um, <laughs> shit. Um, yeah, I just, I kind of want to see. <laughs> I want to see if I can throw. I'm going to put on Hunter's Mark. Okay. For this one. And then attack it with my uh, longsword again. All right, go ahead and roll to hit. Longsword. <laughs> roll 8 plus 6, 14. 14 hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Tie. Tie. Wait, I love that, like, Six. your squares on the side have, like, blood on them. Like the Z2. <laughs> uh, That's awesome. <laughs> definitely makes it helpful. That's true. Yes. Yeah. Six plus two. Uh, so six plus two, um, eight. Eight on Z3. Uh, where are we at with our friend here? Uh, all right. Yeah, he was pretty uh, pretty full, so he took some damage, not too much. Um, what's your Hunter's Mark damage, by the way? My Hunter's Mark damage is... Um, um, so I rolled a 1d6, and I got two. Two, okay, two more points of damage. A little bit more. Knocking him down, knocking him down. Ten points total. Awesome. All right. Um, that was your bonus action and your action. So that brings us back to the Wraith, who's now kind of in the middle of things. Um, and I think seeing that Zendri was the first one to try to go for him and did some shit that he um, thought was enjoyable, he's going to go after you. Um, he's just kind of like going to lift his hand up. Um, and he is going to drain some of your life. <laughs> just drain some of your life. Yeah, he tries to, um, but as he does it, you are able to kind of move around. Meow Meow kind of comes in between you and him trying to save you, and he's not able to quite grab a, grab a hold of you. Um, that'll end its turn. Hmm. Uh, and that's going to bring us to you, Sless. It is your turn now. Nice. Okay. Well, I need to come over here and finish up uh, Z2 and Z3, I think. So I am going to do, oh, that's not what I want to do. Come on, scroll down. Uh, I'm going to do a little ice knife action. Okay. Um, well, I'll wait. No, that's not what I want to do. I'm going to do scorching ray, actually. Okay. And uh, we'll do second level Scorching Ray, um, which is a hit DC says plus six. So that means I have to roll at least six. Yep, and, and Scorching Ray gives you three rays. So you're going to roll it three times and let me know okay. which one you got. Let's see. And you're targeting Z3 and Z2? Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, Z3 has more health than Z2, right? Yeah, so I'll do two of them towards Z3 and one of them towards Z2. Cool. Uh, assuming I hit all three. Which I did not. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, I got a 20, 18, and a 3. Uh, so the first two hit, the last one doesn't. Yeah, so we'll do one for each then. Okay. Uh, and so let me see. It's a 2d6. So that first one was a six. Okay. Z3 is looking pretty beat. Still standing, but getting there. And the other one's, a, and then Z2 is a four. Uh, both of them seem at the same level of like damage. Uh, they're both pretty beat up, but still kind of shambling towards your friends. Uh, anything no. else on your turn? Uh, nope. 
And that's all I need to do. Alright, so do you see us? Your turn, sir. Any way for me from where I'm standing to kind of position a 15 foot cube kind of going like forward so it hits Z2 and 3 without hitting Flux? Or not really? Uh, what's the attack you're trying to do? Shadow. It's Thunder Wave. No. Uh, let me just check on Thunder Wave. Wave. Does Thunder Wave come from you or is it a target Thunder Wave? Oh, uh, so no. It says it comes from me. Um, I mean, y you could try this. You could try and move like over here. And that would just hit both of them, um, but you wouldn't. Okay. But you might end up, um, you might end up getting hit by both of them with an attack of opportunity. So you can see if because mm. they're gonna try to take pot shots as you leave their combat zone. Hmm. Well. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. Okay. I'm gonna try it. Let me see if they hit you. Z3 rolls first. That's a miss. Uh, second one hits you, so you take four points of damage as you're trying to run away. Um, but you can go ahead and cast Thunder Wave now. What's the DC on that? Probably 14 still. Yeah, 14. Comes. Yep. Uh, the first one fails. Second one fails. Um, so go ahead and give me a damage. <laughs> Uh, damn, I rolled well. Seven. That's seven. gross. Okay, that was enough to actually kill them both. Um, so they both Great. just kind of, like, fall down. Um, as they fall down, um, one actually kind of, like, kicks the ground. Uh, and you're like, I got this. And you're, like, about to play, like, a sick chord on your loot. Uh, and you see one of them, Z2, kind of shambles back up. He's, uh. steps back up. Alive, uh, weakened, but alive still. Here for an encore, I see. <laughs> and then he dies from the lameness of the joke. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. All right. So Z two still up, but not doing so great uh, after he attempted to recover. Uh, that brings us to Zendri. It is your turn. All right. I'm gonna come for W two again. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the same, only I'm going to switch it to my third level and see what that does. Okay. Go yeah, ahead you're and, trying uh, to go for the big guy over there. See if you can hit him. Well, he <laughs> laughed at me, so I'm trying to, like, play this game. Let's go. All right. Um, I'm letting you make your decisions. <laughs> I, got a, <laughs> I got a 14. Uh, 14 does hit. Um, go ahead and try to roll damage. <laughs> Zendry dies on night one of the new campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Nathan, Zendry do your homework. Away, of healing, we we did some deep soul searching, so we're ready to fight. All right. It's true. Oh. What Listen, did your soul searching um, say about Caduceus? <laughs> I rolled an eighteen. Okay, so, so you three. you go through and you're like as you like keep your hand kind of buried in this like sm smoky ashy creatures like gut and you squeeze a little harder and you pump in more of your uh, divine power into this thing and he just laughs at you and just <laughs> and still nothing happens. Roll an arcana check again for me. Holy crap. Basically this black wraith is 2020. That's what this is. <laughs> it's COVID-19. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get? I got a 13. 13? So now that you've kind of had a, another try at this thing, trying to pump necrotic damage into this undead creature, you start to recognize that the, the type of damage you're doing, this also undead necrotic teacher is immune to. Dope. So no okay. type of necrotic damage will do anything to this uh, this being, or for that matter, any of these beings here. What it, what is it? Ne okay. Necrotic damage? Necrotic damage. What is that? Uh, well, necro, like death, necrotic damage. Got it. Okay. So she was trying to, to yeah. use that particular type of spell, and it does nothing to this guy. Yeah. He's already dead. He can't die, die, you know. Uh, but yeah. you still have Meow Meow. Yeah, I was just looking at it to see what kind of damage that one gives. So I'm going to try and hit him with my Meow Meow. Okay, go ahead and roll to hit. 
Hit him in the head. That's how you kill a zombie. You're gonna stab him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> ten. Uh, ten does not hit. It misses. Sorry, meow meow. <laughs> uh, but that'll bring us back to Torin. Your turn. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to hit him with um, level 3 Thunderclap. Thunder Wave. <laughs> uh, you want to do a level 3 Thunder Wave? Yeah. Okay. Um, I got a 17. Uh, 17. Okay, that hits the zombie and... Uh, actually, I don't think that's how that works. Uh, Thunder Wave is a DC. What's the DC on that spell for you? Uh, thunder. Are you doing thunder? Cl thunder wave, and you're doing level three. You said thunder wave. So I yeah. need Zendri to roll a Constitution saving throw. Is it too close to her? Oh. Yeah. Hope I don't kill you right now. What do I? What do I type again? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm just trying to. Exclamation point! Save yeah, right con. Save so both con. of the creatures did fail. Nice. Let's see if Zendri right. failed. It might well. be worth it. We'll, we'll bring you back if it happens. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay. I just came out of nowhere, just hot, and I got pissed that no one freaking died from my sword, so <laughs> I just went full, like, stepped on this kid. Classic Torin. Classic Torin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a 16. Uh, okay, you succeed, so you're only going to take half damage. Um, so, uh, Torin, you're going to roll 4d8 for me. Okay. Wait, so how much is that? Uh, we're going to find out. <laughs> 18. <Got it. laughs> 18. So, nine for you. uh, so you're going to take 9 points of damage, Zendry. These other creatures are going to take 18. Um, the zombie almost like completely disintegrates. Like Parts of his flesh have just sloughed off from this huge resonating boom. He's still alive, but not by much. Um, the wraith seems to like almost weather it. He almost takes a bit in. Um, he's still hurt. He kind of shudders a bit. Uh, but he doesn't seem to take as much as you were expecting. Right. Well, so I know how that the spell works. Damage out. also isn't. Uh, while he might not be immune to it, he is resistant to it. Uh, okay. Dude, this thing is weird. We got a. Wait, has anyone hit him with like a sword yet? Uh, no. No one has been able to hit him. Uh -uh. Maybe uh, someone go with a physical type damage. So that brings us to this other creature who is trying to break in still. Does not happen. Uh, back to Z2, who will just go after Flux, because she's the closest. Uh, that misses. Uh, Z4 is going to keep going for Torin. That hits. Torin, you take four more points of damage. Come at me, bro. See me twice, right? Uh, I think once. Uh, and then that brings us back to the top once. of the round. It's Flux's turn again. Um, I'm gonna attack Z2 with uh, produce flame. I'm gonna like hurl my fireball at this fool. Sure. Um, Go ahead and roll to hit. It's gonna be 14. 10 plus 4. 14 does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Sick. 2d8 is 15 total, baby. 15. Let's see if he comes back mm. up. He does not. All right, uh, that zombie stays on the ground dead. It does come back to our um, Wraith's turn, though. And he's just going to keep pouring into poor Zendry because he finds it funny. He misses again, though. Jesus Christ, you're lucky. Uh, Sless, your turn. <laughs> well, um, I am going to have to come around the corner here so I can help them take out this uh, W2, the Wraith. Let's see if I can move my guy. Excellent, dude. Yeah. What? Can you hear me? Or no? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Oh, okay. yeah, you're good. Um, and I am going to do... Uh, let's see. I'm going to do a little uh, Scorching Ray. Uh, and you, Where are you pouring it? Uh, well, I'm gonna if, well, I create three rays of fire and hurl them at targets within range. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go completely after W two okay. after the rate. Cool. Go ahead and um, 
blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and um, roll for yeah, each roll one. Let's see what you get. Let's see. So each one has its own roll. Yep. Ah. Uh, So I got a, a 19, a 1, and a 9. Uh, the first one hits. Perfect. And so, 2, 6. Uh, 7. 7 points seven. So this fire is like your... A few of them go wide and hit off the, t the wall as he kind of like, kind of flickers past them. Um, and when you notice the, the, the Scorching Ray lands, um, it doesn't seem... It just kind of like seems to go through it a little bit. It does do a piece of damage. You can see kind of part of its form evaporate temporarily and restructure, but it doesn't seem as if it's as powerful as you expect it to be. Mm. Uh, what was the total again you mm. said you rolled for damage? Seven. Seven. So he's going to take uh, four points of damage. Um, this dude's still up and tough. Um, Seducius, so though, that brings mm. us back to you. Yeah. Did you say the Wraith took damage? He has taken very small amounts of damage. He hasn't taken the necrotic damage, nothing happened. But the other types of damage you have been doing have been doing not as much as you expect. Not none, but not as much. There's like fire, freeze. Do I have any elemental um, so stuff? So far, you've tried fire and thunder and necrotic. Oh, jeez. Okay. Dude, what is this thing? <laughs> it's a ghost! Hey, if it's like a ghost! <laughs> It's like oh, a wraith, shit. like in Harry Potter. Some bullshit, dude. Uh, here, actually, I think I can show you. Let me see if I can do that. Secret. Yeah, so Someone needs to hit him with some secret. magic, dog. Got a secret. <laughs> Just no dead magic. Who's? We got a wizard on our team. What are you doing, Harry? <laughs> You're a uh, lizard, Harry. <laughs> You're a wizard. So right. what are you doing? Earmuff, man. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna get over here. The next, I can't get very close. I'm gonna be over here next to Celeste. Um, well, I'm gonna try dissonant whispers on the wraith. Okay. Uh, all right. Go ahead and uh, what's the DC on it again? Fourteen. Uh, fourteen. Yeah. He does succeed. Okay. Well, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> uh, okay. What well, I'm going? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Shut up. <laughs> Anything else on your turn, Snoozy? Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. I feel like I have too much anticipation leading into that. <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> Uh, where's my, hold on, I'm gonna do a little bonus action here. <laughs> Don't make him angry. <laughs> no, I'm gonna freaking... I'm just gonna do Mantle of Inspiration, because I'm worried about this Wraith when it actually starts to freaking attack us. Um, he has missed all of his attacks. Fortunately for you. Yeah, yes, yeah. So far he has. Um Z Zendry's taking damage. I know I want to give her those okay. eight extra hit points. Who else is taking damage from you guys? Uh Torin and that's it. Oh, and Flux. Yeah, so I'll give Torin and Flux. Yeah, I'll still give him the eight extra hit points though, just in case this race starts to get crazy. Okay. So Zendry, so Torin. Do any of you want to yeah. move? Um with Mantle of Inspiration, you get a free movement if you want to go 30 feet in any direction. Um, I would like to move away. Okay, where do you want to go? South. Oh, yeah, South. Okay, uh, like yeah, I'm gonna go behind. You can. You, so just a heads up, you can try and move like this way, but if you do, the wraith will get an attack of opportunity on you, um, or you can. Yeah, there's really nowhere Wait, for the Wraith Z4? Move. What's that? The Wraith is Z4? The Wraith is W2. Oh, W2. Oh. Yeah. You can, can, you can you go get back past there? your teammates and go this way, but you won't be able to cut south because of the zombie. 
Okay, well, then actually, there's, oh, more, there's more that way, so you could. You would just get another attack of opportunity. So it just depends on what you want to do. Uh, well, no, just keep it right there. It's fine. Okay. Is there? Can I? Okay, so I've never used this, but you said he's dead, right? Uh, not alive. Yes, he's not alive. Can I use speak with the dead and ask some questions? Let me check. a clever use of that i don't 100 percent know actually just know. kidding no i can't because it's 10 minutes yeah it it's your ritual um you probably though as a cleric and a paladin have a couple of things you can use that would be useful i would imagine i feel like i don't have That's them my magic homies get up in there <laughs> yeah you you definitely do like in my wheelhouse right now like selected already a million percent what am I missing? What am Look I Look at your channel divil here? divinity. You always say that, but I don't know where that is. Uh, look in, look in, it's either in your actions or your features and traits. Let me see. Channel oh. of divinity. Okay. Channel divinity. I did not know this existed over here. Okay. How do I use it? Uh, basically, you just say that you want to use one of your channel divinities. I think you get one or two per turn. Um, there's a yeah, couple I get two. different options, but one, like your base option as a cleric is turn undead. Yes, I would like to use that. Okay, so he's got to try to make a DC 13 saving throw. <laughs> What's it? Wisdom? That's going to be close. He failed. You are very lucky. <laughs> he rolled a, he rolled a, he got a total of 11 and he needed a 13. Uh, so he is turned, which means he has to get as far away from you as possible. Spend his turn trying to move away from you and it can't willingly move to a fate within 30 feet of you. Also can't take reactions. Um, so it's basically just got to run. So on its next turn, that's all it can do. Um, that counts as an action though. Um, you still have your bonus action if you want to try to hit this thing. With your meow meow. Yeah, we can try and hit because last time I missed, so I don't know if it works or not. Uh, yeah, go. well, you just didn't you just didn't land a hit, so you can try again, see if you hit it. Uh, yeah, let me go back. Where the hell is it? All right, let's roll. Fourteen. Uh, fourteen does hit. Dope. Go ahead and roll damage. All right, let's do this thing. Nine. Nine points of damage. So you just swing as you feel like Meow Meow and that spiritual connection you have to this magical weapon and just conk, clanks. And like as it lands on this creature's head, you feel the creature actually move with it. It connects solidly and seems to have finally taken full damage from one of your attacks. Finally. Um, All right. Which will then bring us to Torin. It is your turn. And I don't think I can really do anything against this guy. I think I might. Um... I don't know if that actually work, but I'm going to try my breath weapon. Okay. On uh, the big dude, W2. Right. Yeah. Go, go for it. Uh, what's the DC on it? On that one, it is... Oops. The dex DC 12, half damage on success. Uh, he did succeed, so he's going to take half damage. Okay. And then... Oh, this one's kind of confusing. Let's see if I... <laughs> For 2d6 lightning damage, but that... What's 6? Is that my level? Huh? I have like different... I have 6, 11th, and 16th. Oh, I Is see different what you're saying. For your breath weapon? Um, yeah. Yeah, so for yours right now, it's going to be 3d6. Okay. So I'm just going to do that. Dang, that dude is looking creepy as hell. 
Looks not that good. Eight. Uh, eight points. So he only takes half damage because of that, and even that seems to be even more reduced as his character almost seems to just avoid anything magical going through him like that. Um, Dude, this guy is freaking weird. So that'll bring us uh, to him, who just goes through it. Uh, the zombie inside finally gives up trying to break through the door, tries to rush out. Um, and he will attack Torn as well. That misses. Z4 goes for Torn again too. That misses. Jesus. Um, Flux Good thing this guy sucks, team. man. We'd be all dead. This okay. dude is literally trash. It's like dumpster juice at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Juices at the bottom. Ew. Dude, get out of You know what I'm talking smells. about, dude. Yeah, you know those smells. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, just the... Me- yeah. Oh, yeah. No. My, well, my trash can's full of, like, poopy diapers right now, too. Well, that's the really? best. Really? Oh. Shit forever. Did yeah, you dude. have to? And a cactus, dude. Mine is... Yeah, it's on the curb right now, ready to get picked up, dog. Um, oh, my God. How do we kill this thing for real though? We've been putting like little po- little pellet gun shots at uh, him. Flux, it is your turn. Though. He hasn't done anything to us. Um. Okay. So I'm kind of far away. I don't know what, how much closer I can move, but can I see the wraith from where I'm standing? Uh. Yes. I can. Okay. I'll say it's got a little and, bit of cover, but yeah, you can see it. Okay. By the building and by like uh, Seducius and and Sless, correct? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm kind of like, so I'm on a weird angle. Okay. So I have a question. So with my channel Divinity the Abjure Enemy, it's just basically saying that it frightens and it slows the creature down. Yes. The creature is currently already frightened. Right. So it might not do much to do that. Um, and we haven't tried to actually attack it yet with it. Well, I mean, uh, Zendri did with her Meow Meow, right? Yeah, and that was the only thing that seemed to do any damage. Like Tight. Okay. Damage. Okay. I'm wondering if if I used my crossbow on it, would that hit anybody else? Or can I? Could I even? It's hard to tell from where I'm standing. Uh, you can try with your crossbow. <sighs> see if it does anything. Would it damage anybody else? I don't want to hit like Sadducius. Um, no, I'll say you can probably get through. Uh, it would just be Tight. difficult to make the shot. Hmm. If I moved a little bit closer, would it help at all? You really wouldn't have a good angle. Right. But I also still have a bonus action after that with Bow of Enmity if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to try... With my crossbow. Okay. Go ahead and roll to hit. Uh, I got seven total. That misses. Tight. Um, then can I at least uh, throw out Valve Enmity on this guy? Sure. As a bonus action? Um, yeah, I'm just going to say you got to move a little bit closer, but yes. Okay. 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 So you get advantage on all attack rolls against this thing going forward. Um, that'll bring us cool. to the Wraith. Um, who is um, basically turned for the next, uh, like, ten rounds. Um, and you're going to see he just turns around and floats. He goes through the building, and you see him kind of come back through the other side wall as he just kind of floats, like, as if the walls don't even exist, and he gets to about there, uh, ending his turn. Uh, Seducius brings us back to your turn. Sorry, had a wait. Sless, right? Sless, sorry, Sless, yes, Sless. Oh, it is my turn. Yes. Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna see if I can move up a little bit and see if I can take out uh, Z4 here. Okay, you've got a shot from uh, where you are now. You don't have to move. Okay. Okay. Uh. uh make sure we just take him out so i'm gonna do a uh no i'm not gonna do that 
Uh, I'm going to do a third level Scorching Ray this time. Okay. So let me, let me roll for this. And who are you trying to hit? Uh, Z4. You're going to like pump them all into Z4? Z4 looks uh, like hurt. Oh. Well, well, I can't reach the other Wraith from here, can I? Uh, the, the W2. Let me see. Oh, no, actually, yeah, Scorching Ray goes 240 feet, so yeah. I can. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to do one at Z4, and then I'll do the next two to, to, to the other Wraith. Cool. Roll to hit. Nate, what is this music? It... Is it too loud? No, I no, I feel like it's like there's snippets from a Metallica song, and I can't <laughs> no. play it. Uh, I mean, it's got like a instrument that Metallica likes to use every now and then. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, Craig's new EP. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I thought maybe Craig was doing it. Uh, right, I did a 12, a 16, and an 8. Uh, they all hit. Nope, actually, that 8. Uh, well, the eight, let's do it about it. No, yeah, so the last one doesn't hit. So one hits the zombie, one hits the wraith. Okay. And it's a 2d6. So. 2d6. So the first one was a seven, or then they're separate, right? Or they're both the same, okay. Okay, so the zombie just gets destroyed. Uh, they're both a seven. Uh, and then you you do see that that other scorch ray hits the wraith, but it still just seems to like, poof, flow through his body and doesn't seem to do as much damage. Uh, four. Uh, but one that zombie Z four is dead, um, which will then end Celeste's turn and go to Seduceus. Yeah, I want to try dissonant whispers again because I want to see if this if it's gonna hurt the wraith or not. Just a level one. Uh, okay. Um, DC fourteen. Yep. Uh, he does fail. Go ahead and roll damage. And tell me what type of damage it is. Okay. Uh, la 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 la. Uh. uh no. Uh. Oh, yes, yes. Sorry, you're right. Yeah, psychic damage. Yep. So how much, um, yep. how much do you do? Um... 13. 13. So as you kind of like are playing your tunes on this thing and like he starts to get a little bit of air, he's, it's weird because he's hovering and there's no feet, but he does seem to stutter a little bit. His form seems to flicker. Uh, and you see him put his hands to his head uh, in like pretty severe pain. It looks like it's done as much as you expected. So it seems as though psychic damage Good. is effective. Good to know. Uh, Anything else on your I mind? will end. I will end my turn with a glimmer of hope in my eye. <laughs> Zendri, it's back to you. Uh, got maybe like about how far? He's like about what, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty-five, 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 thirty-five. Actually, you should do it further. Uh, he's about sixty feet away from you because that turn undead spell does that, um, and he just took off. It just took off. Um, so he's about sixty feet away. Um, you've got maybe, like, one more round before this dude just, like, is gone. Like, he's gonna take off? Like, leave the map? Seems like. What the crap? Kill this biatch. I'm trying to think what I want to do. Um, so far, you know the types of damage that don't seem to be effective. Um, necrotic does nothing. You right. learn that. Um... Fire yep. damage, lightning damage, thunder damage all seem to be reduced um, in some way. Um, and the only thing that seemed to hurt it is <clears throat> a uh, magical weapon. A magical weapon. So non-standard. So weapons. not a problem. How far can my meow meow go? I believe 25 feet. Why? How, how far can I go? 30? You can go 30 feet. Which does not add up to 
<laughs> so it doesn't add up. So can I just try and hit him with my crossbow and see what happens? Sure. All right, let's go. Crossbow? Let's see what isn't it gonna grow right through? It's gonna do like literally nothing. It's, just gonna... it's like throwing a watermelon seed you at him. Have, you do have some other ranged spells. <laughs> Did you just say it's like throwing a watermelon seed at him? What does that mean? What the... <laughs> it's gonna do nothing. I don't know where that came from, but it's a thing. It's gonna do nothing, bro. Uh, I can't like you've like got, got you've got some choices here. I just say watermelon like a little bit ago, that's why I thought of that. Okay, wait. you you see stuff I don't see, Nate. Are you looking at the this? this? Look yeah, at but I don't know what you're talking about. So sacred Full flame. Screen, that oh, because it's feet. all the way up there, and I wasn't looking up there. See, I have no so. nothing different than you don't have. Yeah, you're right. I'm just a ding dong. Okay, so can I move up okay. closer so this will reach him? Uh, you can move up to about there. Or her, or yeah. So wait. Okay. Um, do we want to do? Yeah. So we'll hit him with the sacred flame. Okay. So that's a DC 13, which he fails miserably. Uh, so go ahead and roll your damage. Twelve. 12 nice so yeah you hit him with this and this radiant energy of this like really seems to sear him deeply and he he seems in agony even as he tries to just get further and further away from you um it appears as if radiant damage does full damage on this creature uh so that'll be torrent now <laughs> I'm going you've got to... one zombie in front of you and a wraith as well Oh yeah. Uh, might as well just finish off that zombie. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hit him with. Well, this didn't really work last time, but they're annoying. Um, I already used that one. I can't use that again. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my dragon slayer. So let me hit that. Okay. Go ahead and roll. It is twelve. Uh, twelve <laughs> does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. It is ten. Ten. Uh, yeah. So not enough to clear him. He's he's hurt though. That was a pretty good hit for him. Uh, anything else on your turn, Torn? Um. Yeah. I actually can I move um next to Seducius. I don't know if that little angle is like. You can make it, um, but on your way there, you suffer four points of damage as he gets an attack of opportunity on you. Okay. That's fine. Uh, all right. Four, four, you said? Four. Uh, four okay. So as you guys are fighting, uh, from inside, you see another shape of a wraith pop up. Uh, as it comes through the building, it starts to kind of float into your space. Um, seeing Zendri head in that direction, he goes for her again. <laughs> One. These wraiths can't hit shit today. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, uh, that'll go to the zombies turn now. Oh gosh. I don't know what just happened in the chat, dude. <laughs> it's just, it's all of the emotes. It's emote city. What is going on? <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> so what is happening? Uh, all right. Uh, so it's a zombie's turn, I think. Yeah, the zombie's going to go over to Celeste because he's there. Uh, he does okay. take Celeste, so you take four points of damage. Four points? That's nothing. Yeah, these zombies yeah. don't do a ton of damage. You can kind of tell they're just minions. And then oh, well, I'm going to take a keyboard away. All right, I'm going to move over next to Celeste. So I can get attack this zombie. I'm trying to get rid of these zombies so we can freaking take on these wraiths here. Uh, all right, cool. So, <laughs> um, God, that chat. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Hovo, you might need to calm down like five steps. I'm not saying don't go ham. Just like step off of 12 and come back to 11 for us. Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Holy Who's shit. Hobo? Uh, I don't uh, want to say his name on chat in case he's yeah. trying to live by anonymity, but we do know who you are. 
<laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to your house, dude. I live like five houses down. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, right. knock on your door, dude. Uh, in either Bash case, your keyboard uh, in, bro. Flux, it's uh, your turn. You've got one zombie yeah. in front of you, a new wraith, and then one wraith trying to haul ass. It's almost. Oh like, my god. I'm gonna... picture, Craig? <laughs> I'm gonna attack with my long sword. Is it okay, is a on the zombie? Oh my god. Yes, on Z1. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. Oh my god, okay. Uh, oh shit, 25. Uh, that was that a um, natural 20? 19 plus 6. Nice, okay, so, so go ahead and roll your damage. Tight. <laughs> 1d8 plus 6 total is an 8. 8, nice, okay. So this zombie actually just melts right in front of you. Let's just see if hey. you can back up though. He does. <laughs> so as he just oh, cracks the ground, his head kind of like halfway, half of his body still attached, kind of slumps back up and closes uh, the wound. Uh, he's still alive, tight. although he is deeply hurt. Um, uh, but he is still alive in front of you. Flux, anything else on your turn, though? No, that's it. Okay. Uh, all right, that will bring us to the Wraith again, who is still going to be running. Um, and oh, he, come on. He circles back. Actually, he circles back around. Uh, and let's just see. Nope, he does stay on the map. Um, uh, but that brings us to Celeste's turn. You've got one new wraith in front of you, seemingly at full strength, although um, maybe a little worse for wear from whatever he went through inside. Um, but he uh, is there. Okay, so I also, well, and there's also a zombie next to me, right? Is there, yes. or is that guy? Yep, there's still a living zombie next to you, but he's almost dead. Yeah, that zombie. Go kill the wraith. I know. Oh, okay. baby zombie. I know. That's what. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the wraith, which is right next to Zendry. Yep. And the other one ran all the way to the other side of the house. Yeah, that other one looks like he's gonna just run off. Uh, Wait, there's two wraiths. When did that happen? Uh, last turn. <laughs> what <out>. the? <laughs> It's been on the map the entire time that we've been playing. There's W's on the W's too. It's almost as if he had like a ulterior motive. <laughs> Where's Billy? Been? been in the building. Gosh. Oh my god. Got any more race you're hiding around this map, Nate, or what? Uh, Where, where's W3? <laughs> it's up to you. Whatever you want to do, bro, it's up to you. But you do know that Dissonant Whispers work if it lands. Hey, yo. It's true. Well, I gotta see what's even gonna, like, work on this thing. Yeah, so far, Would, you know, uh, doesn't work, lightning doesn't work, thunder doesn't work. As, like, they don't not work, they just don't work as well. Uh, yeah. And then, um, right. Necrotic does nothing. Hey, what if I did erupting? Hey, what if I did erupting Earth? You can try it. Yeah, I'm just gonna try it. Um, so the range area is 120 feet and a and a 20 foot cube. So let me see where I need to be. Well, oh yeah. So can I just do it for like where W1 is, and then left? And then, like, just the, the two squares below them. That way I don't mess with Zendry. Can How I do that? the cube? It's a 20 foot. So. Mm, you can't see inside the building. So. So you'd really. The... You wouldn't be able to miss that space. So, like, a 20 foot cube as close to the building as you can get it would put it, like. Yeah. Can, can I hit the, the wraith? Just the left of the wraith. And then below the wraith in those two squares. Well, it's right? the center of it. So you would hit here. That would definitely hit Zendry. Isn't each one of these squares five feet? Yes, but how can you get inside the building? Inside the building? You're, you're Isn't one of these squares 20 feet? Each one of the squares is five feet. Oh, I so see. This okay. Is a, this, is a, this is a 20-foot cube. You can Got only it. cast it where you can see it, which is this wall, basically. Yeah. So that, that would hit Zendry. I mean, okay. she's got a lot of health points. You know, fuck it, whatever. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> All right. We'll be okay. Uh, uh, Go so for what's it. What's the DC on it? Uh, uh, 14. 14. He, he succeeds that. <laughs> Come uh, Zendry, on. I need you to roll as well. Roll, what am I rolling? Uh, a um, dexterity saving throw. 
Uh, easiest way to do it on your character right, sheet, right. you'll see where it says, um, like, uh, in the saving throws column, it says dex, there's a little minus or whatever button next to it. Click on that. Nope. Do I have to do it in the chat? You can do it in the chat, too. If you do it in the chat, it's exclamation point, save, space, dex. Why do I all... Oh. That is, like, literally the one that I always forget. <laughs> save dex. <laughs> Save all the decks. Uh, so you <laughs> fail. Um, so uh, save my deck. Roll your damage. Oh gosh. So I so I, yeah the other the actual wraith avoided it, but now okay. <laughs> oh gosh. The long swords are a little rusty. You get the sense they fail. Hey y'all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Speak for so yourself. You, wanna, you wanna, wanna know what I just rolled? What, yeah, what was the damage you rolled? You probably 33. Out of 33. All, all right. Sendry, you take 33 points of bludgeoning damage. Gosh. <laughs> wow, you <laughs> really sacrificed. <laughs> uh, Are you kidding me? That thing freaking dodged this? What kind That's of the second time we've done that. What kind of damage is it? Uh, how do I know that? Uh, if you click on the spell, it should tell you. I can try to look it up as well. Uh, for my temp. I mean, it looks like a little, like, hammer thing icon. Oh, uh, it's bludgeoning damage. Okay, so... Um, so he took 33, 33 divided by 2, divided by 2, so 33 divided by... 17, 16. Uh, so 16 divided by 2 is 8. Um, yeah. He only took 8 points of damage, as you get the sense bludgeoning damage doesn't seem to do very much to it either. Also, okay, so I still attacked it, it's just not as... Not as much. Correct. So he, uh, he only took half damage, but then on right. top of the half damage, he was even further reduced because he's resistant to it. So Got it. Instead okay. of 16, he only okay. took 8. But Zendry's okay. not looking so great at this point. Um, yeah, but but Zendry lost 33? Uh, Zendry has like 6 points huh? left, I think. But it, it, but yeah, but I, I took 33 away from her? Yes. Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> Zendry, it is your turn. You've got this wraith near you. Uh, so... You should probably move and yeah. heal yourself. So you can heal yourself. You can try and turn divinity once more. You can, or turn undead once more. I think you've got another use of it at this level. I'm not certain. Skip me. Did I skip you? Oh, I did. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, did I go ahead. Seducius, your turn. My fault. <laughs> I've been waiting, waiting to freaking. Uh, you got you you got time, Zendry. Uh, Seducius, yeah, your turn. Sorry, my fault. Oh. Yeah, then we, <laughs> yeah. We skipped over. Calm you down. Because your sword is not why? here today, okay? Uh, my <laughs> sword is here, sword and I'll show head. you. This is hard to see. Okay, so. Good to see his sword. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Let's kill the wraith first before we're showing any swords, okay? <laughs> Alright, so Decius knows that Dissonant Whispers worked on the last wraith, and so I'm gonna try and go ham on this wraith in front of us, and I'm gonna try and cast a level 3 Dissonant Whispers. He failed his um, I'm reading it. Okay, I'm, okay. I think I messed up on that first time, because I think on a failed, it's the, a creature still takes half damage, and I didn't do that the first time. <laughs> Live and learn. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. All right. So, uh, dissonant whispers. Here we go. Oh, I wish I could show you this on the screen so you know I'm not making it up. It's okay. I got twenty-two. You can't see it. it says twenty-two. Uh, so this twenty-two puts his hands to his hands and he's just screaming in pain. Uh, that took a big chunk. He's still standing, um, but he's, um, he's, uh, he, that, that one really did a number on him. Uh, anything else that you'd like to do with your. Uh, um, I just want to say that you've been seduced okay. and my turn is over. <laughs> Solid done. <He's> still alive. <laughs> uh, now Zendry. But is it though? No? Uh, and Zendry, I just want to double check because I forgot you had the eight extra points from Seducius. So you should be at 14 health points, right? Well, no, because I subtracted the eight that left me with twenty-five, and then I subtracted the five. I only had thirty points after that, like before the twenty-five was subtracted. Gotcha. So, how much do you have now on you? Five. Five. Okay. 
here. Five health points. Okay, so, but it is your turn. Yep. The one that you just hit, Caduceus, was that uh, Wraith number one? Mm-hmm. It was, yes, Wraith number one of two, or however many there are. <laughs> yes. <two>. Question, <laughs> are we... So, if... If we don't pay attention to Wraith number two at all, does it go away? Uh, it seems like... At this point, it hasn't seemed like it's wanted to come back. Your turn undead um, lasts a minute, and it has not been a minute in game time yet. Each round is only six seconds. Okay. So it's basically going to last for ten of these rounds, and we're going um, like through four since you cast. I'm it. nervous. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, do I try and, and try just and like do it on this other one? Yeah, or you could heal yourself. It's definitely a gamble either way. What do you guys think? You heal yourself. How much help do you have? Five. I think you'd heal yourself. Yeah, yeah you can yeah, heal yourself. Yeah. yourself dude. No, we, can, we can do some damage, dude. We'll take care of it. Yeah. It's probably going to come you're back scared. at you. So you're not going to have like tons of health, but it'd be better than dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so plus, because all... would take another turn before, he, before the Wraith attacks. So maybe he can take him out. If you need a helping healing hand, just let me know. So are you going to heal yourself, Sendry? Or are you going to Jesse is always ready to use his hands in any way possible. Hey, oh. you just said. <laughs> Zendry, are you going to try to heal yourself, or...? Yes. Okay, and well, how are you going to do that? But I'm trying to look and see which one heals myself and not others. Uh, technically, they all can. Um, cure wounds you can cast on oh, yourself. Oh, they can? Mm-hmm. It's just a touch spell, so you have to be able to touch yourself. But I have a feeling you do that a lot. So that was real <laughs> slick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the cure wounds is that the one you're talking about? Yes. Uh, okay. Do all the I'm gonna level three third you level that. Sure. Yes, on myself, please. So how Thank much health much. are you giving back to yourself? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Nice. Good big heal. 23. Hell yeah. Let's go, baby. All right. Um, okay, so you're back up to 28. Um, anything else on your turn? You still have your meow meow up. Can my meow meow? Yeah, I want to go after this fucker in front of me. Okay, roll to hit with your meow meow. Hold on. Twelve. Twelve misses. Just barely. By one point. Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, how are you rolling, by the way? For your spiritual weapon. On here. Oh, you're just hitting that. Little, on the actual uh, website. That little plus five is what you're clicking on. Yep. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Uh, Torin, that brings us back to your turn. You've got um, a nearly dead zombie kind of around the corner behind you, and the wraith right in front of you. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to finish off the zombie with the dragon sword. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to try at least. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't think I have anything to kill that. Oh, go right. after the wraith, dude. I don't have anything. You like I did, I'm because, literally hitting it. Well, you, you get the sense because you've seen the meow meow hitting it and landing. A magic weapon does do damage to this thing. And you have a magic weapon. The dragon sword is magic? Yep. Oh. I didn't realize that was magic. Yeah, the, All right, let's the go long full sword stand. that Flux has is also counted as magic. I'll come in hot on him then. <laughs> Since I didn't do a very good job in the beginning, dude, I came with a, a wiffle ball. <laughs> Big scream and nothing. Uh, <laughs> sure, go ahead and roll to hit. All right, 17, or 16, sorry. That definitely hits. All right. Full stand. And then how much? 11. Points? 11 points, nice. So 11 points does connect. Um, this dude's getting pretty close uh, to it, but still standing in front of you. Um, that did do a, a good size, a chunk of damage. It does come back to his turn, though. Um, and he's just going to kind of keep going for Zendry, because that's where he started, and you see she's kind of weakened in healing. You get the sense he doesn't like any type of um, divine magic being used. Zendry, what's your armor class? Uh, 13. He does hit. Uh, you take 21 points of necrotic damage oh. as he just 
kind of you feel like the life force drain out of you. Woo! Tough. Uh, what does that put you back down to seven? So, uh, that'll end well. this creature's turn now. Uh, and that'll bring us back to the zombie who's just going to slam at Flux again. And you get a natural 20, so you take eight points of damage, Flux. Nice. Now the rolls are coming in. Just you wait. Might kill you anyway. Uh, that'll bring back to Flux, though. It's your turn. I'm going to just take this full out. I'm just going to stab it with my freaking longsword. And then I'll come over there and help with the, uh, the wraith. I just yeah. need to get rid of this Go thing. ahead and roll to hit. See so right. if you finish it off. Tight. 12. 12. He does die. Let me just see. Yes. He's back to life. Hold on one second. He does not. All right. No. He's still on the ground. So that zombie is dead. Do you want to do anything else with your turn? You still um, have valid I... on W2. Right. Um, but that homeboy is like way the freak far away. Yeah, you um, have a hard time getting to him. Yeah. Uh, can I just move over by uh, Seducius in that square? Uh, yes. There you are. Okay, tight. Right. That's where I am. Turn. W2 is now going to leave. He is off the map and gone. Um, and that leaves us with Sless. We only have one Wraith in the battle still. Yeah, I have been trying to figure out if I have something that can really attack this thing. Get out of the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, chat, the chat's helping you out. <laughs> I don't know if Oh, is it? Oh gosh, <laughs> I got a rat problem. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, did we did we determine fire didn't really do much to it, right? Fire seems to only do about half. It seems to be resistant to it. Okay, and the same thing with lightning. Mm -hmm. Um, gosh. Well, can I do? Uh, I'm just gonna try ray of frost. I'm just going to try another type of uh, yeah. attack here. Go ahead and roll to hit. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, five. Miss. <laughs> Anything else on your uh, turn? Uh, no, that's it. I don't have any bonus actions. So. All right, Seducius, back to you. <laughs> uh. Same as last time. I'm going to try and knock this fucker out with a level 3 Dissonant Whispers. Uh, he does make his saving throw, but you can do half damage. See if it's enough to get him. <laughs> uh, I rolled 18, so he'll take 9. All right. He is still Come alive, on. but barely hanging on as he writhes in agony. Uh, Zendri, it is your turn. Are we talking about Wraith number one or two? Wraith two is gone. The only one left. Yeah, Wraith, Wraith two ran away. Only one left. Okay. I would attack it. All right, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna hit him. Uh. The meow meow. My secret. Huh? What'd you say? Well, she. You want to do the meow meow? What about the meow meow? So she could do both. Yeah, meow sacred meow is flame. Bonus action. Um, okay, so DC 13. Yep. He does fail that, so go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! I got a five. Five. All right. Uh, he kind of weakens. He's barely there, but still alive. All right. How's our meow Get meow? Get him with meow? my meow meow. All right, roll to hit. Yeah. All right, I'm going back to it. <laughs> 25! Yes. Alright, roll damage. 17, baby. Knock him out. How do you want to kill this thing? Oh, I don't know. I'm not creative. <laughs> what have you put? <laughs> uh, we'll say... Seducius, we need water. Seducius, how does Zendry kill this thing? <laughs> and she killed it with the okay. meow meow? Mm -hmm. Okay, so based upon the picture you sent in the chat, what I'm imagining is that Zendri's hurt and pissed off and swings for the head with the meow meow, and that black little skull just cracks and separates from the ghost-like body, 
uh, and the body disintegrates, and the little head flies away and disintegrates in the air as well. You knock his head off. All right, and the rest of his form does fade, uh, and it seems as though for the moment um, no other combatants are um, attacking you. A um, few of a little more worse to wear, uh, but you are all alive. Um, and you do see now that there are several of the windows have been like smashed in, but try to like redo a barricade. Um, the front door is almost completely broken through. And from the inside, you start to hear a few voices go, Are they gone? Did they get them all? Uh, yes. We have gotten them all. Um, are you guys okay in there? Yes, I think most of us are. The, the wraith got got one of them, um, but uh, I don't I don't know. He was just a traveler. Um, c- come in, and you hear like some like uh, crates and things being moved around. They're trying to get the barricades and the things they kind of pushed in front of the door out of the way. Uh, and now you can kind of see inside of this um, this in space. Um, <laughs> Get it on the map for you. Um, there's kind of like a, an entry foyer um, that looks like it's more of a coat room. Um, that was the door that the zombie kind of smashed through first. The next interior door was almost completely gone. Uh, but as you go inside, you do see a pretty typical roadside inn. Um, the floor, honestly, even isn't like finished. It's a lot of dirt and straw, but there are tables, a bit of a stage off in a corner. Um, the patrons inside are kind of moving the tables back, um, letting you in. Um, there is, as you guys kind of enter, a very attractive half-elf woman with kind of sharp, angular, but noble features kind of walks up and she says, um, well, I guess I should say thank you. Um, so thank you. you stay away. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh you're welcome. You're welcome. Um we are the long swords on a journey. And uh we would we, we would love to be able to stay here and rest up. Um sure, yeah, that'll be um what is it for one, two, three, four, five of you, that'll be ten gold. Oh I'm cool. so sorry. I'll... I, I hit, that'll be two gold. A gold per room. I'm so sorry. My head's not where it should be. That's cool. Do we have two rooms? I mean, I just assumed you would for how many you are. The rooms aren't big enough to fit all of you. Well, I, I think Seducius and Torin need their own room. And then uh, I can share a room with Zendry. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I forgot about that part. And from- <laughs> I'm just trying to take a good nap tonight, dude. <laughs> Just trying to take a good nap on the couch. Uh, from the back, you do actually hear a voice in this um, kind of human male with a pretty scarred face walks up, kind of slaps her a little bit on the back, and he says, Well, what are you thinking, Marticia? You shouldn't be having them charge for the rooms. They just saved all of our hides. Let them stay for free. I'll pay for it. It's okay. He said, I don't know oh, you thank you. You were the, the long swords. Please um, help yourselves to anything else. I'm sure the other patrons here would be very grateful for what you've done. Hmm. Oh, thank you so much. We, we appreciate that. Yes, of course. Uh, the name's Bacchus. If you need anything, feel free to let us know. Whatever you need for the rest of the night, of course, is is on us. Isn't that right, Marticia? Uh, and Marticia kind of looks back and goes, that's fine, Bacchus, as long as you're paying for it. You know, I don't let freebies happen at my inn. And she kind of walks off back to the uh, back to kind of the counter and kind of plops down. You see her going back through a ledger. Mm. Mm. Uh, it was, is it? Barkus? Is there an R in there, or just a? No, it's 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 a Bacchus. B A C K E S. <laughs> Bacchus, pleasure, <laughs> pleasure to meet you. Uh, I would love, uh, you know, a bottle of uh, some ale to take up to my room after that that harrowing battle. Of course, anything you need. Uh, hold, hold hold a moment. I'll, I'll go get some for you. Ale? What did you say? What? Ale. A, a bottle, bottle of ale. Ale. A L E ale. You drink Can you it. Add a bottle of wine you... to that for the flux, please. Yes. I was just about to say. Uh will you also be taking it to yeah. your rooms yeah. or will you be drinking it down here with the rest of us? Uh, oh, I think the here. rest of the patrons require well, like, to relax oh, after that ordeal. 
Can I buy you a bottle of wine too? Me? I, I work here. You don't have to buy me nothing. Well, I would like to get you a drink. Thank you very much. Oh, I'll, I'll Let's buy a round for the patrons, guys. Uh, and then you hear like a here, oh. here from everybody. Uh, and they're all getting there. Uh, Baldo's over here. <laughs> um, we have so much money. <laughs> yeah, we really do. So he kind of looks back at Marticia and kind of looks for like a nod. And she just kind of like, he just, looks like it's free tonight to everyone. Don't worry. I know that was a bit of a scam. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, I want to give it to, I want to give them my money. <laughs> Yeah, we want to know. Tip, Why sure would you want to give won't money? Leave, won't, uh, be upset about it at all, but you certainly don't have to. You just oh, leave you... all of our hides in here. Hey, 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 very well. well. I'm sure Seducius will give uh, Morticia a, a tip later. So <laughs> just, just uh, he seems like he could try, but it's uh, <laughs> my gosh. What you say? She's uh, not a the little type. penny, dude. Not the type. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't mean that. I don't mean to say that she's, um, she just doesn't, uh, take to one's sexual advances, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just take the ale for now. There'll be no sexual advances tonight. <laughs> Probably for the best. Probably. Please, uh, help yourselves grab a seat and he kind of gestures to one of the tables that they've now flipped over. Um, you do see though that there are now like there's a good handful of people in this place. Um, sadly, one of them have expired, and they kind of dragged him somewhere else. Um, you're not really sure where, and don't seem to care too much at this point. Um, you get the sense it's a little somber, and perhaps they'll get in touch with his family later. Uh, but there's like maybe seven or eight people in here um, at least um, that you can kind of see downstairs. There might even be more upstairs based on what you're hearing. Um, but there's a, a few different folks inside. Um, Bacchus kind of gets you guys to sit down. He does bring all the drinks. You see him passing out drinks to everybody else as well. Um, and he says, well, would you like me to get something from you? I'm sure I can get Kura to make something for you. Um, I mean, I'm not hungry unless anyone else is. Yeah, I think, we, didn't we just get in town tonight? Yeah, I think we could use some different yeah. Yeah, we well, can. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you mentioned a town, boy. Which town are you are you looking to go to? Uh, well, we, we just came from Fanlin, and we're heading towards. Uh, oh, what was the name of it? So, Lilan. 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 Everyone. Lilan. Lilan. Oh yeah, you've got another day's worth of travel before you get there from here. So I, I assume right, well, you're well, wanting to be spending the night. It's pretty late, and I'm sure you you look a little worse for wear. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to rest up, yeah. especially uh, Zendry. Yeah. yeah. So why don't you just stay and eat, get some food, rest a little bit? Let's do it. Perfect. Do you have any stew? I can make you some stew. Yeah. Kura is one of the best best cooks you'll find in these parts. Mm. Uh, you kind of hear him yell <laughs> back, Kura, let's get some food for these boys and ladies. Uh, <laughs> and so he uh, kind of yells to the back. Uh, you guys are sitting drinking. As you're drinking, you do notice that there is a bit of music coming from the corner now uh, where the stage is. And there is a young couple, um, one a little kind of four foot tall halfling, pretty slim and lithe. She seems to be playing um, playing a little bit of harmonica. Uh, and there is a young chap next to her as well. Um, and he is um, he's kind of singing along with her harmonica that she's playing in the background. Kind of perks up, um, perks up Seduces' ears a little bit. Um, so a few of them kind of going around uh, and you notice uh, a few other people kind of standing about a couple other people kind of clapping and singing along with this enjoying their their um, ability to stay alive in all of this um, and as you're kind of enjoying this scene um, a half work woman uh, comes out and um, she brings uh, some food for all of you uh, and there's a big like pot of stew that she kind of brings out with a few different bowls and kind of disperses and pours it on out and it smells Really delicious. It smells great. <laughs> uh, and a half orc woman came out and brought this. Mm. Yeah, a half orc woman seems to be the cook Kura. Huh. Oh yes. Well, it smells delicious. My compliments to the chef. Um. Well, thanks. That's um. It's really nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> She kind of blushes a little bit. <laughs> uh, do you guys need anything else? While we have our lovely chef here? 
That was no? great. Okay. Thank you, Cora. That's all we need. Yeah. yeah. Yes, thank you. For sure. Uh, and as she turns to leave, can you roll a perception check for me, um, Sidisius? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think he was more interested in the four um, foot tall. You can't quite make it out, but as she turns, you see that there are there seem to be two tattoos kind of underneath her hair, but you can't quite see what they are. She kind of keeps walking off. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. He's only interested in the tattoo on her lower back. <laughs> well, I don't see it because her apron kind of covers the back. Of her. <laughs> I'll investigate that later. Yeah. We need to eat. <laughs> Uh, damn, guys. Well, remember when we fought that dragon? <laughs> yeah. Good time. <laughs> it's, nice uh, yeah. Full, it's nice to have the full group back together again. Torn, we missed you. Yeah. Did I, yeah. Did How I have you guys fought a dragon? And then this, like, yes. gentleman comes out from a side and, like, puts a big oh. clasp on, like, uh, Seducius's hand, seeing the loot, and he says, I recognize a fellow one of my kind. You're a bard, aren't you? You you, you, you said you fought a dragon. I would love to hear a little bit of that. Tell me more about that dragon you fought. You know, I'm I'm, I'm Tarvin. I'm trying to just uh, make a name for myself. Uh, anyone who killed a dragon definitely has a story to tell. I'd love to add that to my repertoire, you know? <laughs> well, uh, Tarvin, was it? Yeah, Tarvin. Tarvin Tool. You'll, Tarvin. Know, you'll know about my stories here pretty soon. Tarbin. Yes. Tarbin Tool. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Uh, I'm Seducius. Yeah, you may have heard of me. If not, you'll remember me as well. Uh, these are my friends. Cool. We are the long we are the long swords, and yeah, we killed the dragon in Fandolin. Oh. I don't know if you heard about that. Over I here. have I have heard about <laughs> the long swords. I have heard of you. I thought one of you was a short sword though. I don't know. I don't really get the joke that much, but in either case, I'd love to hear more about this dragon that you heard. Did you kill it? Did you win? Did yeah, you leave? Like, what was the story? Tell me more. <laughs> yes, uh, we <laughs> we don't talk about the story. Hey, I can tell you uh, if you want to know yeah. how the dra how the dragon died. We we fought it for a while, sure. Um, but ultimately, it was uh, it was a boulder that I uh, threw up in the air and I made it smash down on his neck. Wow, you threw a boulder. You don't look very strong to throw a boulder. How'd you do that? Wow. Uh, <laughs> we're going there, huh? Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I'm a, I'm a sorcerer, so I used magic to throw a rock in the air, and uh, as it came down, it got bigger and more powerful. Hmm. Scylla, write that down. Hold on. I think I got one. Give me a little tune. Uh, a boulder he shouldered and threw at the dragon. Yeah, it needs a little more work. I'll get there, though. Keep going. Oh gosh. Uh, well, you could probably add in a little bit about my friend Seducius here and uh, a woman named Helga. I'm sure that you could write some lines about that. I'm sure oh, I could, but yeah, no, that's no dragon. You guys got to help me out a little bit more than that. It has nothing to do with the dragon. Uh, I did um, cast a spell on the dragon before the boulder was dropped to cause it to go uh, blind so the dragon couldn't see us, which helped us uh, in victory. That's right, yeah. And it was also stuck in some spider webs as well. Oh. Yeah. Anything to do with like our a, friend, our... a wagon or a flagon? Uh, I need I need something just to help me out with this dragon bit, you know? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not thinking Actually, this. Anyway, where are you guys headed after this? I'd love to Actually, hang out yeah. if I could. If you want, you, you could write about Vincent uh, and, and he who pulled a wagon for us. Is so, Vincent Vin him? Vincent the Ark. And he points to Torin. Is that... Vincent's no. a cool name. I've never met a dragonborn named Vincent. That's pretty cool. I'll punch this little kid soon, dude. What are you doing? Hey, man, there's no need for violence. I'm just here to help. If I could make you guys famous, wouldn't you want that? Looks like your bard isn't doing a good job. I mean, I'm sure he's doing great. Nothing Tarbin. bad against you. Tarbin. Tarbin. Mm -hmm. Sweet, sweet Tarbin. You seem like a really sweet young man. Yeah. Uh, That's nice. Thanks. <laughs> I want to smash his face if he doesn't shut up. I know, Tarbin. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see if I can talk this kid down a little bit. Uh, so, so, Tarbin... You seem like a really sweet kid, uh -huh. and yeah. uh, we appreciate your your admiration and your your curiosity about our, our adventures. And we'd love to share more. But at this moment, we're really tired. Would you give us a, a night to sleep, and maybe tomorrow morning we can talk to you? And he kind of looks down a little disappointed. He's like, "Okay, 
I guess. That's fine. Um, Scylla, I told you to play the harmonica a little louder. It would have been fine. And he just walks off. <laughs> goes to the goes to the, he's not like singing anymore but you can kind of see him mouthing the words like dragon wagon yes. tagging that's it, not it, a word it, it's okay seducius i'll i'll make it up to him i'll let him know what room you're staying in so that he'll come no uh Bless. <laughs> he does seem like a very young man <laughs> but he doesn't seem to be like younger than like 21 22 uh but he goes back he's sipping on his wine next to scylla and kind of humming next to her as she plays the harmonica uh, up on stage, uh, a little quieter this time, slightly, slightly less pleased. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, reminds me of myself when I was a young lad or kid. Uh, Torin, back to you. Where the F have you been? You've been gone forever. I've been on some adventures. You don't need to worry about my adventures. <laughs> I missed you. Why did you take me with you? I blow out my hands. Cuz, you're over there just smooching the honeys, dude. I ain't got time for that. I'm I was just... Make... To... You're what, you trying to make money? I was, I, was just, I was just seducing, waiting for the next adventure. You should have taken me with you. Could have I seduced and slayed and... I don't pay for that stuff, and you all you do is pay for it, so... <laughs> uh, and as Listen, you have a, a, a chuckle as Bacchus walks back in and goes, Oh boy, oh, I can tell you about the ladies that I've taken in my time, too. I know it's uh, it's quite the ordeal, and he kind of leans over <laughs> as he's picking up the bowls that you're eating. He goes, it looks like you're all done here. Let me get you some more. Uh, as he leans forward, a necklace kind of hangs out uh, from his um, shirt collar, uh, and it looks to be a like a downward-pointing trident. Uh, and he kind of leans back up, tucks it back into his shirt. And he's like, let me get these for you. And he kind of clears them out of your way. Uh, and starts walking back towards the kitchen. Mm. Mm. Did you guys see the necklace that he, that, that he was wearing? Does anybody know what that yeah. is? It reminds me of uh, the symbolism that we saw at the lighthouse. With the crevices? Yeah. <laughs> Where's two member crevices? Hmm. What was that god hmm. name? Oh my god. I totally forgot. Oh, oh my god. god. I can't. I can't remember. Roll a history check for me, um, Flux, and roll an advantage because you are very close. Okay. So, first one was 19. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen. Um, so, um, it, it, it does remind you of the Tower of Storms um, and some of the imagery that you saw in and out. And you remember that when you were at the Tower of Storms, you you defeated a worshiper of Talos, the storm god, the evil storm god. Um, and, Talos. Um, because you saw the trident um, and a little bit more of his build, like you can tell this dude has been in combat before. Um, and um, maybe was a, like a, a sailor of some type, given some of the aquatic imagery that you've started to recognize. Hmm. Yeah, guys, that trident reminds me of the god of Talos, and I don't know, I, I got kind of a weird feeling about this place. They seem a little too nice. Hmm. I mean, the stew was exceptionally good, so I've never had stew this good. Yeah, well, so. do, can we, like... I think Zendry can can we detect good or evil? Or can we t detect a? Oh wait, hold on. Dang it. Yes, we can. I think I have a spell that I can use. I don't have it. It's a known spell, but it's not prepared. Yeah, you won't be able to. Hold use on. It. Dang it! I have protection from. So I purify food and drink. Detect poison and disease. Dang. All right. Shoot. Can I use my detect evil and good? Will that 
serve us? Um, I mean, if you're looking for a fiend or a celestial, like if you're looking for a certain type of creature, it could. Mm. The only fiend you'll find here is me, my dear. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, but I mean, you guys have been eating <laughs> this food. Sure. All of you have been like eating it, and so far you all feel fine. Hmm. Well, I mean, listen, if you ladies are worried about it, maybe one of us can post up uh, tonight while we sleep. Um, mm. They all seem very yeah. nice, but I'll, I'll trust your intuition. I never doubt beautiful, a beautiful woman. <laughs> Ever. Uh, and you do notice that the beautiful woman doesn't even seem to look up from her ledger. She doesn't seem to pay any of you <laughs> any mind or attention. I uh, can ultimately care less. <laughs> <sighs> all right well i think it's time for some rest uh, yeah, as you guys sleep. are about to go you do see bacchus kind of come back and he says looks like you're looking for bed then huh yeah we're all pretty pretty exhausted uh, yeah you do thank you for the food though out. of course that's uh least we could do for saving us uh let me walk you upstairs i'll get you into a room uh, he does walk you upstairs and take you into a couple different guest rooms um place seems relatively um amenable um, most of the rooms, as he kind of opens the door, do have a few different beds in them. The one's kind of closest to the north side here. Um, and they all overlook um, a bit of a courtyard, uh, and that's the stable kind of inside. There are some animals in there. Um, you can kind of tell some of the animals were a little beaten up by the zombies, though, sadly. Um, but still alive and okay. Um, but uh, he kind of shows you to his bed, and he goes, uh, Well, if you'll be needing anything else, just let us know, and we'll, um, we'll bring it up as quickly as we can. Um, again, I, I can't thank you all enough. Um, and I, I, I wish you the best when you get to uh, Leilon. Uh, and he kind of turns, closes both of the doors, uh, and heads back downstairs. Mm. Are we all in the same room together? Uh, no, it looks like you're in separate rooms. He did get you two different rooms. Okay. Same. Yeah, I think if you're looking at the at the picture there, uh, probably, what, Torin and... So these two are in one of the middle, like maybe like the middle room with just the one bed there. Dude, I am not. Yeah, and then right above that, uh, you'll see me. Uh, we could take a really good nap together, dude. Me, Flex, and Zendry. Uh, <laughs> one right above it. <laughs> well, it tickles your fancy, I guess. <laughs> How is this becoming my character? I don't understand. <laughs> It's been your character the whole time. This is what happens yeah, what when in the mean? first five so seconds that you ever play, you try to seduce the first woman you see, and then the pursuing woman, and then the pursuing woman, and then the pursuing woman. Right. And now we just moved on to stranger, stranger things. Yeah. I like Dragon Show, dude. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, so you guys are resting for the night. Anything you'd like to do before you go to sleep? Oh, is someone keeping watch? God. Did you want? Yeah. Did you guys want one of us to keep watch? I think we're. Okay. I don't mind keeping watch if you really are worried about it. Hmm. All I know is I just need to close my eyes, so I'll leave that to you guys. I think we're fine. Okay. I think we'll be okay. Why don't we all just get some rest? Um, okay. So, all right. Um, you do, guys. All um, go to rest. Um, I. Um, I want to see something real quick. Who's got the highest passive perception? Our uh, burp. 11, 17, so it's pretty strong. 12. Uh, Seducius, I would like you to roll a perception check, but at disadvantage. Because you're unconscious. Just want to see if it's enough to jar you. So ro ro rolling it twice and take the lesser of the two. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, if I can spell. Uh, so 12 would be the lower one for me. Um, you don't notice anything. Uh, and the rest of you... Okay kind of wake up as the sun kind of creeps in through the window. You all kind of stretch. You all seem safe. Nothing seems different um, in your rooms, at least. 
Um, you kind of all enter and exit downstairs. Um, for you guys from this room, you actually exit through the like the, the door to this area is actually in, into the courtyard um, down. And as you kind of walk, you're hearing this like clink, 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 clang, clink, 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 clang. And as you kind of walk down, you see kind of in that lower um, southern area is a little bit of a covered smithy in a furnace that's burning. Uh, and at the um, and kind of at the anvil um, is a pretty uh, muscular dwarven woman with um, like bracers um, on her wrists um, and hammering um, what looks to be armor. Uh, and behind her are three other sets of armor uh, against the wall as well. I have a question. Can we? Did we just take a long rest? Yes, everyone can take a long rest. All right, Seducius, it sounds like you're tired, dude. Like <laughs> Short, dwarven. Exactly. <laughs> um, and, wh- and where, where are we again? We, we've walked down out here. And the smithy is like underneath this building. Okay. Here, actually. Okay. All right. <clears throat> uh, good morning. Uh, good good morning. Sorry, uh, I'm to I'm... wake you. Um, it's a good ways past dawn, though. You guys wake up late, huh? Yeah, we had a long journey, and we fought some zombies and a wraith, I think, last night. So yeah, we oh, definitely no, I was slept here in. For the zombies. I just um, man, uh, yeah, I <laughs> I I hid here. Uh, behind the smithy and um, just prayed they didn't notice me and it's and she just like clang clang and her arms are huge for this like very kind voice coming out of this woman it's almost a little strange to just the position hmm uh, looks like you're doing some impressive uh, metal work here what are you what are you making oh uh, just a bit of armor um, you know can never be too too safe you know and just clang 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 um, you do notice, um, as she's kind of bring her hands down, you can get a better cl- a look at the bracers now as you see them. Uh, and the bracers seem to be this, like, lightning bolt, like, three parallel lightning bolt motif, motif on her wrists. Um, and as you kind of look over at the three, um, armor sets that are kind of on displays behind her, they also have those three lightning bolts kind of pointed at each other. Um, can I ask you a question? I know you're you're busy making some armor here. No, of course, I'd love to. You guys, you know, whatever you whatever you guys need, we'd we'd love to be as helpful as we can. Yeah, everyone's been super helpful. Um, I'm just admiring your armor that's on the wall, and I'm I'm noticing these uh lightning bolts that you've put on them. What is what does that mean? Uh, it it doesn't mean anything. I just like the way it looks. Oh. <laughs> Uh, no. It is very cool. It clang, caught my clang, eye. Clang, clang. Uh, <laughs> have you guys ever been attacked by zombies or race before at this uh, inn? No, that's the first for us. I, I, I don't know if where you come from, zombies are common, but not here. No, they're not common here either. I was just curious what they were trying to get inside for. That beats me. I, I guess zombies eat people, and we were people. So. Mm. Clang, mm, clang, dude. clang. Let me... I think we <laughs> have to ask her if she's familiar with Talos. Um, Persuasion, maybe. Check, I don't know. She's like... She's lying, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can do anything with this. I don't know. Are, are the rest of you guys with me or what? No, it looks like you're by yourself. I mean, you can be. It's up to you guys if you want to. I'll let you guys decide where you are. You can go back into the improper, get some breakfast if you want to hang out and listen to this uh, conversation. You've got some choices. Uh, well, I 
I don't know, I'd like to ask her if she's familiar with Talos. Uh, what, I mean, what's a least, Talos? Here. Uh, Talos, Talos is a what god of lightning? Uh, I mean, yeah, storms, lightning, thunder. Or thunder, yeah. He's like a storm god, or a sea, like a evil god of the sea. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he's just a he's a storm god that uh, yeah, we did a mission with uh, a little while ago and uh, came across some of uh, you know some of the symbols uh, that are that look very similar to the symbols that are on that. Uh, on your wrist um yeah i mean i i don't know i just like the way they look um you know bacchus and i we used to um yeah you know, i mean we used to like be out on the sea uh we had a little thing going him me and uh kura um you know everyone kind of likes lightning and thunder on the ocean it's uh it's a way to appease all the gods and try to avoid you know dying <laughs> oh okay we were just curious because, uh, yeah, we saw it on uh, on Bacchus's necklace yesterday too. Oh yeah, it's a cool one. Yeah, actually, I, I made that for him. The little trident, oh. right? Yeah, it was cool, right? I made that. Interesting. I mean, I guess clang, pretty... clang, clang. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it sense you got you guys aren't too far away from the water, so maybe that's why too. Yeah. No. I mean, like I said, um, we we um, we just um, you know. We kind of left the old life behind us. Truth be told, it was getting a little dangerous, and I've always wanted to make jewelry for a living um, somewhere in a big city. And Bacchus said, "You know, we, we start this in for a little bit. We work here. Um, Marticia hired us. We, we figured we get a little capital, and maybe we can move to like Neverwinter or um, somewhere else." Got it. Okay. Mm. Do you guys have anything else you want to ask? Yes, yeah, so I think we should go find like Bacchus or someone. Yeah, okay. and leave her. All right. Yeah. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you. Uh, we might be back later, um, but thanks for uh, taking some time to talk to us. Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, you mentioned you were looking for Bacchus. He's he's not here right now. Oh, where did where did he go to get uh, some he, supplies for the inn? Yeah, he probably went on a supply run. Sometimes he runs into Fandolin or some of the other places. Sometimes he just goes and gets game for us. He's a pretty talented guy, that Bacchus. Um, but, you know, um, really the only one left here is Marticia, and she doesn't really talk to anybody. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to go grab some breakfast, and uh, we'll see if uh, she's in a talking mood this morning. But thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's good to meet you. Clang, clang, clang. And she's already back at her work. She's not listening anymore. She's going to walk inside. Uh, you do walk he inside. just likes to fuck with us. <laughs> Uh, you do walk inside, um, and uh, Marticia seems like she hasn't moved all night. She's in the exact same spot, going through the ledgers, looking through things. Um, and now that it's in daylight, you really do get a, a, a even better look at her. This woman is is very attractive, um, really thin, <laughs> um, buxom, some might say, a bit of a bombshell, um, but slightly pointed ears that kind of tell her away as a half-elf, um, dark dark long hair kind of pulled back into a very professional low pony um, but uh, she's there at the table just kind of doing some work her name is what's her name again Marticia M-A-R-T-I-S-H-A I hope you guys are taking notes Mar Mar you're on your, your second adventure so I can't hold your hand for yeah. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> okay. if you make mistakes you make mistakes <clears throat> All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna go try and talk to uh, Matricia here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with you and maybe uh, take the lead a little bit, so that way things don't get out of hand. With you. Uh, <laughs> Good call. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, Morticia. Um, so obviously, we you know we got here and uh, there were those zombies and the raids out there. How long were they out there, kind of attacking your inn? Uh, well, it wasn't long. Um, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes before you arrived. Oh, okay. Have you seen them before? Have, no. you, have you guys had zombies attack? Oh, okay. I mean, uh, and, do you typically come across zombies in your travels? I... Well, no, but I mean, it's just interesting timing that as soon as we got here, we found that. Um, any, any guesses where they might have come from or why, why they were here attacking your inn? I certainly don't know why they're attacking the inn other than 
food, I guess. Um, you know, zombies eat people, right? Yeah. Yeah. Have you had any uh, other guests recently that maybe would have uh, attracted them? I can't imagine. Not that I'm questioning everyone that comes in the door. Um, but the Mirror of Dead Men certainly has its rumors, uh, if you believe that sort of thing. Um, certainly there's a lot oh, of... Yeah despicable things down south of course and not very many people you know build ins this far south on the high road there's certainly trouble um but never the undead as she kind of like laughs a very like it's it's a laugh but it's super abrupt it's like Haha, and then done and then she's back to serious yeah well you know we, we were in fanolin for about six months and um uh saw a lot of maps and I, yeah we, we saw that mirror of the dead uh on the map what, 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 what can you tell us about it we're not really familiar with it uh well it's a swampy area um used to be um pretty popular for trade um Leilon hundreds of years ago was quite the center um barges would have to get through on the marshes um you know but when the spell plague struck and everything kind of flipped itself upside down Leilon was one of the kind of big catastrophe sites and now I've heard Lord Neverember is trying to rebuild it. Um, I've certainly not heard of any zombies from there, but it certainly has a history of magical goings on. Got it. Okay. Do you guys get guests from there often, or? Um, we've had one or two from there. No one again that I've really asked, or I don't know if you get the impression, but I don't really talk much. Um, I, Bacchus is better at that. I leave him to that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Wait, 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 what's your relationship with Bacchus? He works your, for me. I employ him. Oh, he works for you. Yes, this is my inn. Got it. Okay. Well, I mean, just the way he, you know, came over and told you to give us the rooms for free, I thought maybe something else was going on. Well, I don't know if you've ever done this. It doesn't seem like you're much of a businessman. I don't believe you're very shrewd, but owner, manager... A good owner needs to know how to trust the, the people one employs. Got it. Okay. Um, well, yeah, we were actually hoping to talk to Bacchus. Any idea where he is? Or uh, No, he's out for the day. He usually won't be back for several hours. Um, usually he picks up supplies on his way in. Okay. Well, I think we might, uh, I think we might wait around and uh, just kind of check in with him before we head on out. Okay. So it, it, would you mind uh, letting us know when he gets back? I mean, I'll do my best. It's, I thought you had plans in Leylon or whatever. Uh, we did, but I think we wanted to ask uh, Bacchus a couple of questions first. Okay, suit yourself. Um, I'm not paying for another room tonight, though, so you need to be out of here before then or you'll need to pay for it. Sure. No, we, we understand. And she goes, mm-hmm. She doesn't even say anything to her. She just goes back to writing in her ledger. All right. Uh, well, do you guys do you guys want to wait around and uh, see if we can find uh, Bacchus, or do you want to head out before he gets back? Well, let's see. What are we gonna do until he gets back? What if he's not back until like late tonight? Well, she said he he's usually gone for just a few hours. So, I mean, we can. Do you want to chill here? You want to like go? I don't think there's, Outside. There's, in, there's not really anything else here, right? It's not like a little town. No, yeah, it's not a town. This is just a little roadside inn. Yeah. Uh, and it does seem like newly mm. built. It doesn't seem like it's been here for very long. Probably within the months you were I don't know. Island. Yeah. Man. I wish we could get more out of uh, the blacksmith. Hmm. What if we go upstairs just look around? We're down. I don't know yeah. if we're down, but yeah, I'm fine with doing a little bit of uh, inspecting of this place. Yeah, are we upstairs right now? Uh, you're downstairs. You're downstairs in the kind of the main area. Okay. Is that uh, black area on the map looks kind of uh? Oh, that's sus, the uh, yeah, it's the smithy. <laughs> oh, here I'll get this part opened up. It's the bathroom. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the shitter. It's nothing big. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just where you saw Tegan the Smith. Oh, I see. Okay. 
I don't care then. It's up to you guys. You want to explore or move on? Or... I don't know, uh, Flux, what do you think? This is kind of your... Um, well, what are we really hoping to get out of Bacchus? I, I wouldn't mind seeing if he knows a little bit more about the Mirror of the Dead. But hmm. we, can, we, we can just keep going if we want to just kind of chance it. Yeah, I think we need to keep moving. There doesn't seem to be much here, and we can always come back when we're done in Leilon. Mm, yeah, I'd definitely like to come back here and talk to Mar Marticia some more, so... No, I'm a sucker for a pretty face. What, what can I say? Let's go. Part of who I am, okay? Don't judge me. So, no judgment here. <laughs> Time to move on. Uh, so you guys, you guys moving on. Uh, okay, so you kind of collect your things and you do make your way out of um, out of this inn uh, and continue on your way. Let me just switch over the map here. Uh, and you, um, uh, currently you're like the inn. I'll just mark it here for you so you have it. Uh, we'll say the inn is this little orange marker. So you're not very far away. Maybe 15, 20 miles at most from Leyland. You can get there in four to six hours from here. It's not very far. Um, so you kind of go down that way. Um, can I get a marching order? I'd like to know kind of how you're walking down this, this main road here. I mean, I feel like uh -huh. I'm probably in the front. Or at least side by side with somebody. Uh, I'll be up front with you. Uh, I'll so, be up for that, fine. Uh, off in the distance, you do notice that there does seem to be a, a bit of a town. It's hard to make out, um, and you know, the closer you get, the more you're like, "This, this seems weird." Um, but off in the distance, you do see. What is Leylon? And it's a, basically a ruined town, and encircling it is this earthen rampart. Uh, rampart. Uh, to the southwest, you do see that there's a new settler's kind of camp, um, as the settlers that are there attempt to build docks for barges made to cross the marsh, uh, which you can kind of see from this area as well, um, kind of to the southwest, this, this marshy, very wet environment. Um, and you can tell that these are probably made um, to offload goods. Um, just outside of the town, again, you do see that there's a settler's camp kind of nestled under the trees alongside the high road. Uh, at the center of the town, really one of the few things that you can see, um, one of the few things that you can see over the earthen rampart that kind of surrounds the city is a very tall tower. Um, for those who have been in this area, you've actually heard of this tower before. It's something called the House of Thalivar. Uh, and it's a wizard's tower that kind of rises almost like a beacon, four times the height of anything else in this area. Um, the town, though, lies in ruins. Um, but you can tell that the settlers from Neverwinter um, that Flux learned were being sent um, by that city to kind of rebuild it are quickly trying to clear and reconstruct the whole town. Um, but as you kind of get closer, you can tell that it seems that there's a bit of a um, bit of an issue. Um, about 50 people are standing in that clearing where this camp is. Uh, just off of the high road, and it's kind of where the forest to the northeast and the swampland to the southwest kind of give way to a little bit of grassland near this road. Um, it's kind of surrounding the one habitable space. Um, there's a bit of a garden kind of being made and some larger fields and crops you can kind of see as well. Um, but for the most part, the troubling part is that the people here are just milling about in panic. Some are shaking in fear, others are shouting at each other in anger, and in the center of it all is a very angry, enraged dwarf it's waving her arms and trying to get everyone to just listen to her. Uh, a bored looking human in a chain shirt and shield, decorated with the sigil of Neverwinter, kind of stands next to this dwarf woman. Uh, and finally, just to get everyone to try to just shut up and all of these people that are kind of running around, uh, he takes his spear and he's banging it uh, on the side of the shield, just trying to like yell at people and saying, Hey! Silence! No one has seemed to see you walk up yet. As you kind of come into this crowd and, and this is the scene that you see in front of you. Mm 
Um, should stay silent or and see how it plays out, or try and make ourselves known. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's pause for a little bit and see if we can listen in. Maybe blend into the crowd and see what's going on. Um, so as you kind of like mill in and and you walk up, you do see the same dwarf woman um, that was trying to get everyone's attention trying to continues and she's just berating folks you just hear like would you all just shut up we're all in the same problem we're all trying to figure out what's going on no one knows what's happening here we knew this was going to be hard when it started rafe i swear to god if i see that one more time i'm going to just and she's just like yelling at all these people trying to get them to like settle down and come into this area um and at, every time that she kind of like yells for silence and the crowd kind of like fights back and you hear these panicked uh yells kind of in return um, the, the soldier appearing next to her kind of slams on a shield again, trying to get everyone, um, to remain quiet. And you, um, you hear her start to ask this group. She's asking, has anyone seen anything strange? Um, did anyone see all of the, did anyone have all of the children? Just I, for a second, would you all just listen so we can make sure everyone's okay? Maybe, maybe we should interject. And ask what the hell is going on. Cool. Yeah. I guess go ahead. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. Um, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, uh, ma'am. Uh, yes. Uh, hi. I'm Seducius. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Marigold. Marigold. Looks like you got a lot going on here. Yeah, um, we're, yeah I, I would love to know what, what's, what is happening here. Maybe maybe we can help. Tell me more. Uh, well, we evacuated the town. These creatures came out of nowhere um, and began ransacking it. We barely were able to get the guard in time to try to fend them off. I don't even know if they're still alive at this point. Most of us settled out here. What kind of creatures, Marigold? Well, their leader looked a little bit like him, um, but she was chanting. Um, the rest seemed mm. to be made of water. Hmm. Um, and then, Flux, can you roll a history check? I got 19. Uh, so you recognize that name Marigold. That's Marigold Brightshine. That's the priest of Lathander um, that was sent... Um, excuse me, that was sent um, down. Um, and she's clearly trying to get a handle uh, on everyone. Um, as uh, as she's talking, though... Uh, uh, sorry, I misspoke earlier. Marigold isn't a dwarf. Marigold is the halfling. Um, but you recognize that name as the priest of Lathander that, uh, the kind of loot, the leader of Neverwinter city sent down to try to help like create a shrine in this space. Uh, and she's basically on the council of the leaders here. Um, next to her is a dwarf woman, um, who kind of takes over this conversation and kind of huffs her to the side and says, listen, are you here to help us or not? Well, uh, I mean, those creatures sound interesting. We had our own encounter not too far away from here. Uh, maybe we can help track those creatures down or find out where they came from? Well, yeah, that's the point of helping. If you could go in and take care of them, it would certainly be a big boon to all of us. <laughs> we uh, here are fighters. Which... See, the only one here that's a fighter is him, and he's a councilman. We can't just send him going in and killing things. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I'm going to whisper to you guys, like, do you guys want to try and help her out and kill these creatures? Yeah, I think the the more we can get on their good side, the better chances that we'll have uh, with our greater mission. Let's get on yeah, their good side. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, ma'am, you're in luck. We are the long swords, and uh, we would love to help you find these creatures. Great. Another adventuring party with a stupid fucking name. That's fine. Whatever. Just don't get yourselves killed. And if you could, um, just, uh, just take care of these things. Kill them. Get rid of them. Wherever they came, them send them back to hell. I don't really care. I just don't want them in my town anymore. While we're in the middle of rebuilding this place. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, can you at least tell us which direction they went, uh, so we know where to kind of start, if 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 you know. Uh, and as uh, she kind of like turns to look, and she's like pointing with her thumb behind her, you hear, "Oh no, may the morning lord forgive me." Uh, Smithwell and Bernice aren't here. Uh, and as you kind of turn to look around, what you see is this. Um, kind of thin dragonborn man um, who also has the livery uh, with the symbol of Lathander on his chest. Looks like he's another priest. Um, he seems to be very panicked and very concerned. Mm. <clears throat> well, let's uh, figure this out. Uh, excuse me, uh, sir, what's 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 wrong? Uh, we, I was supposed to watch the children and two of them aren't here right now. Um, they were right behind me. We, we had all of them here a moment ago. Uh, do you have any idea where they could have gone? You think maybe they're hiding, or...? They must still be in the town. I can't believe that we forgot. And then as he's talking and saying this out loud, the rest of the group is now even more panicked. A lot of them start kind of congregating around the children. They're almost like circling the wagons a little bit, trying to make sure the kids are there. You see some parents grab their own kids. Um, you don't seem to, to see the parents of these two particular children at this point. Um, but the, the town is very panicked and very concerned. Hmm, okay. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to try. Uh, kind of chimes up. She goes, P please, you, you have to help us with this. Um, we can't let any of these children come to harm. It, it would it would not be good for anyone here, and that would just be devastating. Yeah. We'll definitely help you guys out. I would definitely say keep an eye on the children you have here. Um, be, be on guard for anything weird and crazy. Um, and we're going to go try and find the children and bring them back for you guys. Listen, I understand the children are very important, and this time the dwarf woman kind of speaks up again. I would suggest, however, that you perhaps take care of the creatures that are in there first, and if you don't see the children, assume that they've probably found a good place to hide. I don't know if we can send really anyone in there right now, and you seem capable enough, but quite frankly, I don't trust you enough to do more than just attack whatever is attacking us. Okay. Seems, seems fair and reasonable. Uh, hopefully we'll prove our trustiness to you guys, so uh, we'll go take care of those creatures. Uh, roll an insight check for me, Seducius. Insight? Yeah, insight. Um, hard to tell exactly what they're thinking, but you get the sense that the, the three people kind of running the show right now seem to be at odds a bit. Um... Like, every time one of them talks, the other one kind of interrupts. Um, they both seem to want you to do different things. Marigold is very much focused on the children. The Growler is like, just save the fucking town. Um, the soldier kind of gentleman, you haven't gotten his name yet, doesn't seem... Um, it doesn't seem interested in more than just, like, worrying about the scene, this mob that's in front of them. So there's a few different uh, agendas that seem to be going on at this point. Uh... We'll do our best to take care of this cre creature as quickly as possible. And uh, if you guys haven't found the children by then, uh, we would we would also love to be able to help you out with those children. But we're going to go take care of those creatures right now. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, that seems fine. The growl is like, about time. We're sitting here talking. Um, no one's doing anything of value. Let's just go. Okay. Uh, although I don't know exactly where we're going yet for these creatures. Uh, well, let me show you. Let me get it opened up here. Um, so I'm going to try show a little bit of this. Present... So this is essentially the city that you see. This one obviously isn't to scale. Um, you don't 100% know where the creatures are, but this is the city that you see in front of you. You're entering um, 
this area from the um where is it from like oh, wow. uh this if you look on um this map the way the road kind of trails into it and then hugs it you're entering from this um kind of southern end hmm. is that right did i go the wrong way oh no i'm sorry you're entering from the northern end um you're coming down into it okay it's a nice picture. Did you draw that in your iPad Pro over there? Oh, I didn't draw this. This was uh, this yeah, I know. <laughs> not an Adapto original here. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you do see uh, kind of it kind of go through. Um, not looking too good. A lot of holes in the roofs. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a ruined town, and, and it does kind of stand to reason with what you've heard about it so far. Like, this town was essentially destroyed hundreds of years ago, uh, and just just now they're they're trying to rebuild it So and, and, and retake it. Okay, and so we're just going into the town to look for the creatures. Correct. Look for the creatures, look for the children, kind of up to you what your choices are. Cool. Um, as you cool. are kind of walking okay. through, you do see that that same acolyte that kind of spoke up about it does have a kind of bevy of other children around him. Some of them seem scared. Mm. Some seem a little worried. Um, some honestly seem like they are ready for a fight, like they almost want to go in after you. Hmm. And they're coming with us, or we're just walking past them? Uh, you're just walking past them right now, although a few of them seem to be like... Like that one acolyte that kind of spoke up is definitely having a hard time keeping them all in check. Uh, in fact, can everyone roll a perception check for me? I got 14. Fluff, you should use your little mama bear skills and calm the children down. I know. We need to ask. I'd love to ask if we can, the, like, a description of the children or their names. That way we can at least verify. I mean, missing kids will pretty much figure out who they are, but at least we'll know what we're looking for. So, Sless and Torin notice um, that a couple of the kids seem to have, like, gotten away from the Acolyte. Um uh, and are kind of like sneaking closer to the town. Hmm. Sless and who? Uh, Sless and Torn. Um, hey guys, we should probably uh, go see where they head. They could probably help us. Uh, they, you know, they might lead us to the other two kids which are missing. Uh, I mean, I'd be down for that if you. If you want to follow the kids? Yeah, I think as long as we stay close enough where we don't lose them, but we also don't necessarily want them to know that we're following them. That way, in case they're going someplace that they don't want us to know. Yeah, so you, you kind of see them. Uh, roll a stealth check for me, uh, everyone in the group. See if they don't notice you. I got 14 again. Well, uh, they're going to see me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see a lot of you. Looks like okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so as you try to make a, a a move for it, um, they one of them does kind of look back, and you hear him say, "Ah, uh, Billy, um, I think they saw us." Uh, and he kind of like darts off behind a tree. Jesus, kids. <laughs> well, <clears throat> let's go get the kids. Um. Uh, hey there, is one one of you Billy? I heard Billy. Well, I'm I'm Rafe. That's Billy. And as you look Rafe, out, you know Billy. they both look the same. They seem to be twins. <laughs> uh, hey guys, like you're not in trouble. Uh, I'm sure you guys are scared and want to go find the other missing children. Do you We're do you know scared. them? We're tough. We can handle this. Oh yeah, I can tell you guys are real tough. Yeah, he um, pulls out a dagger like a, like he must have stolen it from someone, but it's like a straight up knife. Whoa, <laughs> like, we whoa, can do whoa. this. Whoa, Ray, Billy, <laughs> Billy, children. Oh man, this is a serious uh, time right now. 
and we really need you both to let us know if you know any information about your lost friends. Oh yeah, that's um, how you can help us. Okay. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can help. We're good helpers. Um. So yeah, give us all that information, guys. Yeah. Um. Uh. And then you hear Billy chime in, like Rafe. This is where they're supposed to pay us. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Uh, that'll be, that'll be, how much to be, how much should we charge them? Uh, that'll be a hundred silver pieces. Okay. I'm going to give you, pieces. I'm going to give you 20 silver pieces now. You have to tell us. You won't get the rest of it until you tell us information about your friends. And their eyes just get like huge. They're just like, like this is so much money. They were not expecting this at all. Uh, and they're like, okay, yeah. I told okay, you here's your twenty. Great. Here's your twenty. Okay, so just subtract twenty silver pieces from whatever you've got. Um, it's well, so it's, uh, we're, we're Smithwell, so much Smithwell and Bernice, they're best friends. Um, they hang out all the time. Um, they, they probably, if they want wanted to go somewhere they probably thought was safe they'd probably just hide somewhere in the in the shrine mm -hmm. to Lathander. that's where we all um what did, what did mom call it daycare that's right you're not supposed to call it that it's church right okay yeah the shrine to Lathander. Mm -hmm. so you're saying that that's where they went i guess <laughs> i mean i didn't see where they were but that's where we started and if they were gonna hide you know that's a pretty safe place and where are the, why are they hiding? Because there were things attacking people and killing them. And where and are their parents? Do you know where their parents are? No. You don't think they're dead? What are their parents? What are yeah, their parents' we could names? Ship them and like the I bet you could. With the <laughs> I bet you could. And you know what? When you get old enough, you could join a party just like ours. You've been really helpful, but we need a little more information. Do you know their parents' names? Um, yeah, one, uh, uh, um, Smithswell's parents' names are Clarissa and George, uh, and Bernice's, um, uh, mom isn't alive anymore, but her, her, her dad's name is, uh, Craston. Craston? Mm -hmm. Cranston. Okay. C-R-A-N-S-T-O-N. Cranston. I know how to spell because I'm smart. I, I can see that. Thank you so much. You've been really, really helpful. Yeah. Now, what I need, what I need from you guys to do, what I need from you guys right now, okay? I want you guys to stay safe. So you have to be the protectors of the other kids back in the town, okay? Okay. So I can tell that you're really brave. Can you go back there and make sure that they stay safe? And then when we get back, we'll give you the rest of the money, okay? And they kind of look at each other a little disappointed. Roll a persuasion check for me at advantage. Okay. Twelve and then seven, so twelve. Uh, and so Billy looks at Rafe and he's like, "Okay, fine, um, but we'll protect him good." <laughs> he's like, "I bet you will." Yes, I know him. you will. And they both walk back off to the acolyte. Um, you guys kind of turn to maybe get back to the city and, and walk the maybe hundred or feet so or so into kind of the city proper kind of passing through the walls and as you're you're walking in there um you notice off in the distance that you know as you were kind of talking to the children you were a little confused uh, a little distracted i should say not confused and all of a sudden you do notice that there is this like moving shape of like dust moving pretty quickly towards you um can you roll a perception check for me everyone Oh. I got eight. The Ocho. The Ocho. The Ocho. Where Dodgeball lives. I can't spell. Hold on. <laughs> uh, so for Torin, Seducius, and Zendri, um, you see moving towards you is a very strange sight. It seems to be a wagon being pulled by horses, um, but the horses don't seem corporeal. They seem like they're made of water. Um, what? Like the for hell? a second, think like Ooh. the water spirit from Frozen. And these things are just charging at you. 
Um, and they're closing the distance really quickly. Um, you realize that these things are moving faster than you would expect a normal wagon to move. The bigger concern is this wagon and running next to it are several combatants. And you can tell that they're combatants because all of them have weapons. They're all drawn and they're closing on your position. And that's where we'll end for the night. Damn. <laughs> what Funny, in I'm, the world? <laughs> we've got Frozen 2 on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, oh. uh, in fact, I'll leave you with the, uh, the read aloud text for next time. Uh, strange knights bearing a symbol with three lightning bolts striking ride horses made of water accompanied by a wagon full of archers pulled by another of the water steeds. So this give me, the, give uh, me back some dragons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, we got these weird beings. Now. So uh, good news, bad news, bad news first. Um, and our next mission, you're immediately going to get attacked. Uh, but good news. You've all made it to level seven. Hey, Hey, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, up, we'll end there. Huh. Let's go, Trent. <laughs> yeah, I've got 30 minutes left to get my rings closed, so just enough time. Um, oh, it's close. Well, I think it's close. Cut it close. Um, but uh, yes. Uh, that's that was good. such a cheap way to do that. Oh, my God. It's really smart, though. Good for you. <laughs> got to do what you got to do. Get that Listen, shirt. Get that T-shirt. Dude, uh, get that T-shirt. But that's where we'll end tonight, folks. Um, on the outskirts of Leylon, this new city... Um, that's mostly ruined um, and destroyed. Um, but you're uh, about to be attacked and beset by these strange, strange knights. Pulled by strange knights students. indeed. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and kick the stream off for everyone that was following along. Thanks a ton. Uh, and we'll Thank see you on the next adventure. Bye, y'all.